Yeah, Ahmad. Um, so I'm going to be your facilitator today for the webinar. Um, so let me share my. Uh, before that, uh, before we begin, eh? Okay, give me... One minute. Okay. Can you guys see my name? Uh, my screen? Okay, all right. Okay, sorry for the uh, early glitch. Okay, so uh, today I'll be sharing about uh, creating and grading online quiz in Elan and USM uh, using MCQ and AC, AC type questions. Uh, I'll, I'll give the handout eh? uh, because I've done this, uh, just a quick brief handout. Uh, I'll share this here eh, for you. Uh, along the along the webinar here, yeah? uh, I do not know. I tried to create the link uh, since that this morning my computer uh, reject to do that. Tapi tak nanti along the way I will give, and also uh, because uh, this webinar is recorded, and uh, you can assess this uh, in the uh, CDE yeah? CDE YouTube channel. Yeah? So I will I will discuss with Paul Zana lah how to give the uh, handout and yeah? maybe I put up the link in the video ke. Okay? Uh, ataupun uh, in the uh, YouTube channel, I will ask Puan Zana to do that, eh? if she can, she can do that. Okay, All right. So, uh, going back to the topic ni, eh? creating and grading online quiz in Eden and USM ni, basically, mm, this is not new. I believe uh, uh, some of you may have attended, yeah, uh, or less similar webinar or training before this on uh, creating and grading online quiz, yeah. And as you can see here, uh, this is the uh, CDE YouTube channel. You can assess here yeah, uh, from the link here. Nanti. So you can see there are already few recorded uh, training or webinar uh, done by uh, Nila, yeah, a previous uh, facilitator yeah, on, on the quiz itself. Yeah. So you can see there are a few there, yeah, how to import and so export. The ID. Yeah. Yes. Uh, ada yang cakap uh, suara tak berapa kuat lah. Oh, Boleh yeah, kuatkan. Uh -huh. Alright, okay, okay. Minta maaf. Tak apa, it's okay, thank you. Thank you for the feedback eh. Sebab bila, bila bu buat webinar ni tak nampak chatting ni. Bila sharing ni. Okay, alright, okay. So now, is it is it clear now? Okay, clear. Still have problem? Okay. Okay, uh, okay. Okay, alright. Okay. Alright, better now, alright. Okay. Okay, uh, can I ask permission to uh, turn off my video so that uh, I think hopefully it will be uh, better, you know, the voice, yeah, for a while, eh? because I'm sharing the screen, yeah, okay, I'll stop my video first uh, so that we can focus on the shared yeah, screen, yeah? okay, okay uh, all right, let, let me take out the box, the chatting box first, okay, all right, now, okay. Can see the chatting. Okay, okay. 
<clears throat> so go back to the topics here. Mm. So basically, this training or this topic has been covered more or less yeah, by previous uh, speakers, yeah, uh, or facilitators uh, by CDE or maybe from uh, shared by other uh, academics yeah, in USM. So you can take the benefit of the videos, yeah, uh, training videos in the uh, CDE YouTube channel, yeah. All right. And also, if you remember uh, earlier this year, uh, uh, there is a webinar by. Uh, Dr. Nor Asniza, eh? more or less about the same topic because uh, she conducted eh, or she gave a webinar titled How to Create Question, Question Bank and Quiz in Eden and USM. So um, having having told you eh, about all this, so what I will do today, eh, this uh, for my webinar today, I'm trying to complement eh, whatever the webinar that has been done before. So I'm not going to repeat uh, maybe I, I will I will repeat some of the uh, content, uh, but I'm trying to give some uh, maybe new perspective here yeah, about this topic uh, based on our experience. Yeah? Uh, I think I believe uh, for the last three semesters, uh, it's kind of new experience for some of us. Yeah, especially we need the, the need to to conduct online assessment. Yeah, for example, final exam. Yeah? Uh, like myself, I've never uh, done or uh, conducted. Uh, Final exam um, using the uh, online medium, eh? but then uh, in the last uh, two semesters, and also for this semester, then we have to conduct eh, a final exam uh, in our using our exam online eh, platform. Eh? So it gives us some uh, new experience and also some challenges there. But then uh, along the way, we learn a few ways to overcome the situation and to uh, make things easy, and so. Based on that, yeah, uh, based based on that uh, experience, so that's why I, I'm sharing this uh, this webinar, yeah. And also, uh, I know when we talk about online quiz, yeah, uh, some of us, even myself, also, uh, when I first started uh, using uh, online quiz, yeah, uh, in Eden USM, so there are some difficulty, there are lots of confusion because there are there are uh, quite a number of steps, yeah. So uh, in this webinar. Based on the synopsis, yeah, I will be giving some easy, yeah, five easy steps on how to create an online quiz, uh, including the uh, not only the creating of the uh, question bank, yeah, the the quiz itself, but also on the grading uh, grading part, yeah, because like I mentioned to you just now when we talk uh, during this uh, online uh, era, uh, it's very difficult, uh, for example, to monitor. How our student are upon whether our students have uh, started yeah, taking the exam or not, yeah, uh, because they are not in front of us, yeah, because they are away, yeah, in their homes, yeah, or maybe in uh, USM hostels, but not together with us in the exam hall. So we're not sure whether they are present yet or not, yeah, or maybe uh, are they taking, have they taken, or have they, have been, uh, have they been taking the exam? Uh, at that particular moment or not, yeah. So it's very difficult, yeah, uh, for us to physically uh, determine uh, that situation. Yeah? So uh, we can do that during uh, using the grading thing. Uh, I will show you thing, using the grading system to ensure that um, basically student have has started attempted the yeah, has started attempting the uh, assessment. It could be online quiz or it will be test or it will be a final exam based on the grading. So we will see using the log activity, nanti, we will see uh, in terms of participation of the students into the assessment item. Eh? Yeah, that's, that's the whole idea about my webinar today. Eh? So going back to this webinar yeah, and also the previous one. So there are other things that I will not be covering. So you can, uh, if you've got time and if you want to know more, and you can go to the YouTube uh, CD YouTube channel. Then there are a few short videos there that can benefit you as well eh? in this topic, yeah, including the one that uh, the latest one by Dr. Asniza. Eh? Okay, so before I begin, uh, can I have uh, can I ask you guys to conduct to have this uh, to do this quick survey? There be three questions, yeah. Uh, so uh, this will be the link, yeah. This will be the QR code, yeah. So I will share this this link, yeah. Uh, the chat. 
uh, but for those of you you can also snap yeah, using the name that yeah i've shared the link yeah, in the uh, in the chat yeah uh, could you please uh, do this yeah? quickly maybe three questions there's a two simple question and also uh, finally what do you want to learn yeah? Okay, so this is the first question. Have you attended any webinar or training on creating online quiz by SVE? But I want to establish the background eh, of the audience today. Eh? So good, okay. So, so far, 40 of you. Yeah. Today, how many do we have? Participants. Okay, we have about 85, yeah, My plus my, minus five, maybe. Myself already two eh, there, and with our our first staff from CDE from Zana. Okay, so fifty of you. Okay, good. And and if you have uh, answered the first question, please go on. Eh? There are second question and also the third question. The third question will be uh, the one that asking what do you wish eh, to obtain from uh, to this webinar. Eh? Okay. So basically, all right. Based on first question, eh, okay. Then the next question. Okay. This is the second question. Eh? For those who are not familiar with Mentimeter, okay, or if you want to get the QR code, some of you maybe miss. Okay, this is the QR code. Yeah, you can scan or you can use the link that I've shared in the chat. Okay, go back to the name. Okay. All right. Okay, so we have a number of responses there. Okay, good. All right, so based on the background, okay, I can see, okay, 11 of you, yeah, has attended, you yeah, uh, webinar or equivalent training. So, so for me, this is okay. Uh, so meaning that you, you, I suppose, yeah, uh, you have, uh, yeah, um, in terms of the knowledge and understanding, I think you have a great yeah, knowledge, understanding about uh, creating online quiz. Okay, that's good. And then, okay, majority of you, either have attended once or have not attended okay that's good all right so i uh, for the uh, 11 yeah, participants here um so like i mentioned to you uh, if i have uh, uh and also for the 22 of you yeah, if i'm going to talk about the same thing uh, the content will be about more or less similar to the to those you have attended before so just uh, consider as a refreshment yeah and hopefully along the way you may learn some new yeah, uh, new knowledge yeah, new screen or new tips yeah, about using uh, online quiz yeah. so for 19 of you uh, because uh, this webinar is quite short so i cannot cover everything about uh, online quiz me so i strongly suggest you do take the opportunity yeah, to go through the videos that i've shared yeah, uh, in the uh, cde uh, youtube channel just now yeah. okay so in terms of experience creating okay good yes i'm good at it okay seven of you says that you are good at it okay i'm glad yeah, to have such such participants today and then uh 31 majority yes but i'm not sure of many things okay that one is normal i'm also yeah um, like you also i'm not sure of many things so we are together we are sharing yeah so i may know some things but and but not uh, i may may not know yeah? uh other things yeah but it's okay yeah so we discussed that yeah? along the way nothing and then 15 of you yeah okay says no okay that's good all right this is the things that what do you hope to obtain from this webinar to make it easier okay understand so quickly yeah just blend through yeah easy guy okay learn something new all right Remember, that's one definitely yeah learn something new is a standard answer i love the spirit there answer my question ah answer my questions Okay, this one good. Okay, all right. Tapa, I need to know more on grading system. Okay, on the grading. Okay, uh, okay. Tapa, nanti. Uh, when I talk, when I mentioned about grading system, yeah, I'm not going to talk about the grade books, yeah, but it's more about the grading the uh, the quiz itself only. Okay, all right. Okay, please, can you get? Okay, again, eh, my my voice is not there. Mm, okay, all right. Is it okay now? Because uh, my microphone is already. Ni. I just double check mine. 
and just double check my okay all right alimatul said yes okay okay tak apa okay i need to know more okay learn something okay tak apa and then i need to hold my mic close very close to my mouth eh, tak apa it's okay as long as you can yeah hear me clearly okay learn something new conduct online quiz knowledge on okay how to extract data all right okay how to extract data ni this one ni um meaning what yeah is it the results or is it the previous uh, pre uh previous uh, questions yeah if you can make yourself clear yeah i'm not sure this because there's a thing about anonymous previous question okay so meaning that you want to uh get the previous question from I mean pre from previous semester or from previous academic years is it uh dr o yes okay all right okay 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 uh, I'll, I will, I will try to cover that nanti but if i uh, forget and then then please eh, do do remind me again eh? okay more enrichment on the topic okay all right okay i would like to learn the grading okay all right the grading ni basically yeah when we talk about you want to learn the grading on essay question okay my quick answer to that grading essay question will always be manual okay so i'm sorry to say that eh? but the grading will be always manual eh? you cannot uh, uh apa, ask the system to mark for you oh, okay eh? uh, so betul ya eh? data nita is manual so the uh, but, 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 but what i'm going to discuss today is because some of us eh, uh, when we design the qu exam questions yeah uh, there are many ways yeah there are many ways yes same like open learning yeah Dr. Anisa. all right uh but when we talk about the uh, essay question yeah some of us the way we design sometimes we put whole question uh, or many sub question again uh, for a question into one uh, question yeah? into one section in the e-learn yeah so i'll be uh, for me that is not good because in terms of uh apa ni marking ya nanti uh, if you are teaching the subject alone and you mark the paper alone okay that's fine yeah so it's easy for you but then when we talk about co-teaching there are more than one lecturers yeah uh, teaching and also marking the same paper then uh, i'll be suggesting yeah uh, some met some uh, tips uh, to manage yeah uh, when we design the question in the uh, elearn atau basically in our exam online platform uh, so there are a few tips that uh, me and my colleagues eh, discovered oh this way is easier for us to mark so that's what i mean by uh, to ease the management eh, the marking management uh, that, that, that's kind of thing eh? so it's not about a uh, very high grading kind of thing yeah okay all right so tak apa nanti, hopefully that one i will cover uh, during the webinar yeah okay the rest are more or less okay create on uh, correct on okay master cq all right Okay, you're familiar with open learning, not e-learn. Oh, okay, all right. So today, uh, uh, I'm going to talk about general eh? uh, five steps to the process eh? to create online uh, online quiz in e-learn. Eh? So hopefully, uh, that that will be my core eh? core content for uh, of the webinar today. Eh? Tak apa nanti, I'll talk about it. I want to know more about Connect K, how to understand better the tools. All right. Okay, any new idea? Okay. So quickly scan through uh, further training, how to create, okay, create my own quiz or, okay, create your own quiz. So I presume you haven't uh, created your own quiz before. Eh? Maybe you help eh? your colleague eh? or someone else eh? uh, to conduct the quiz, but maybe you haven't created your own quiz. Okay, that's good. That's the purpose of the webinar today. Okay, apply straight to, okay, effective way to create. All right. Okay, quickly. Okay, so hopefully I get some of the wish today. Yeah? Okay, good. So thank you so much on that. Okay, so I will go back to my uh, PowerPoint. Okay, so thank you so much yeah, of the Nini. Uh, your feedback. So at least now I know the background of the participants today. All right, so basically in this training, this will be the synopsis eh, of the webinar today. So participants, eh, you will be learning about five easy steps in creating, conducting and grading online quizzes. So uh, why I'm, I'm using online quizzes? Because for me, uh, that when we talk about online quizzes, eh, uh, don't, don't get yourself eh, uh, confused because in our model, in our Elon USM, we are using model system. So basically when you talk about online quizzes, eh, it will cover everything. Eh? So there are multiple uh, choices of questions here. Yeah? So you have MCQs here, yeah? multiple true-false, true-false, yeah? uh, 
uh, then uh, essay, matching, and so on. There are many types of uh, questions in our uh, online quiz yeah, features in the uh, eLearn at USM. And we can use this yeah, for our uh, uh, short quiz or our test or our final exam. So that's why this topic, yeah, uh, online quizzes, yeah, for me, is a big topic and it covers most of the uh, assessment yeah, uh, when we talk about uh, quiz yeah, uh, in, in uh, USM. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to talk about the five easy steps. Hopefully after this, uh, some of you who have before this some confusion about the step, what is the difference between edit quiz and edit setting yeah, of the quiz feature. Uh, so hopefully that uh, confusion can be resolved yeah, uh, after the webinar. Okay, then uh, I'll be also uh, sharing about helpful tips on designing, like I mentioned earlier, the multiple questions, short answer and essay online exam, yeah, especially for subjects involve more than one lecturer. Yeah? Uh, more lecture for ease of grading management. Uh, so like I mentioned earlier, uh, because nowadays uh, we have to do the uh, learning outcome, uh, the CLO attainment uh, assessment, right? Uh, CLO assessment uh, evaluation, right? Uh, sorry, uh, CLO attainment, sorry, CLO attainment, right? For every exam, every, every assessment, then we have to assess whether that CLO has been uh, reached uh, or attained or not by the student, right? So, when we when you want to look up uh, that aspect so the way you put you design the question in the elan also uh, hopefully will be easier for you to uh, derive the marks or oh, this question usually when we design a question it will uh, it, the question will address one of the clo right so for example i think uh, in the example yeah uh, i have let's say i have uh, one question this question address uh, clo one yeah, CLO is cost learning outcome eh? for those who are not familiar yet. Yeah, so cost learning outcome. Okay, then question two uh, address uh, second CLO. So uh, how we design the question in the eLearn, especially the uh, essays and uh, essay or short answer question, it will help us to um, to manage uh, that aspect as well. Eh? Not only the marking, but also when we want to analyze for the CLO attainment. Yeah, uh, that, that's why I mean. For the ease of the grading management as well. Yeah? Okay, so basically, this is the two main points yeah, uh, about the webinar today. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so uh, when you talk about uh, creating online quiz, yeah? so okay, can you imagine that uh, this scenario, yeah? ataupun this uh, analogy? Yeah? Okay, this is a jar, yeah? you have a jar of coins here. Okay, Consider this jar of coin as our question bank. Okay, um, so in for those who are familiar or maybe have used one eh, uh, of our uh, online quiz feature, eh? so maybe you are familiar about question bank and also about quiz, right? Okay, tak apa. So I'm, I'm throwing this idea again for all of you, especially the new one here. Yeah? All right, so there are a few con important concepts. Eh? So number one, there are question bank. And there are individual quiz. Yeah, in here I put it quiz one, quiz two, quiz three, or maybe nowadays uh, some of you may no more call quiz. You call it test one, test two, test three, or maybe uh, this one uh, quiz one, quiz two, or final exam. Ke? Uh, so this is each stack of coins are individual assessment item. Eh? Okay, so you have the question bank here. All right. So what will what will normally you will do? Yeah. Uh, you okay the the coins eh, the individual coins are the question the individual co uh, coins are individual questions yeah and that we are going to create then we are going to add to the quiz one quiz two quiz three yeah okay so the whole jar here is the question bank so nanti along the along the way the five steps eh, I'm going to share uh, will be talk uh, around this yeah this concept yeah where you have a, a, a question bank. Yeah, so inside the question bank, you have nanti category A, category B, category C. So there are sections or there are uh, groups that you can subgroup your your upper question bank into categories. So I just name it as category A, B, C, it could be many more. Yeah? So nanti along into each of the category, so some of the question here, the coins you can put into the category, category A, category B, category C. Yeah, okay, then after that, uh, you create the quiz nanti, later on, then you will uh, drag yeah, you, uh, a coin here into the quiz. Yeah, so nanti, you drag question into the quiz. All right. 
Uh, so that's this concept. Yeah, where, maybe it's, I'm not sure whether you understand the analogy or not. Tapi that's the analogy lah. So we are talking about question bank, and then we create a question into the question bank, and then once we created the quiz, yeah, the individual quiz or the test or the final exam nanti. So we will drag uh, the in, the questions from the question bank into the individual assessment item. Okay, uh, that's the the you know, the general overview of the process. Okay. All right. To make things easy, so uh, this is these are the main the five main steps. Eh? So I put the acronym CACAK there. So I I don't know maybe some of you want to say CACAK ke kakak ke. Okay, doesn't matter. But for the sake of our sharing today, so I will pronounce this as CACAK. Eh? C A C A G. Okay. Why there are C A green and they have C A G red? All right. So what before that? What what are these five? Yeah. Uh, letters means yeah. Okay, number one yeah. C refer to create categories. So the word C there create categories in question bank. Uh, so A add questions to the newly created categories in the question bank. Uh, C you create a quiz. Then A you add question from question bank. And then D you create the quiz. Uh, so these are the this will mark up the acronym yeah. C A C A G, and is be very helpful if you remember. If you do remember the rest of the process, nanti, yeah. But I want you to uh, you have to remember this, eh? uh, this slide, important slide, ni, because we'll be referring to this process again and again, nanti. Yeah, because remember just now I mentioned to you, some of us confused, right, about the process to create online quiz, right? So it's good if you uh, remember this, eh? Chacha, okay, right? Yeah? C A C A G. So there are two C, there are two creates there, there are two A's, there are two X's there. So here C, you create categories, and then A here, you create question and you add question to the create, uh, newly created categories. And then after that, once you're done with the question, okay, the first two, ni, the green one, this one will be occurring in the question bank. Uh, so the first CA tadi will be occurring here in the question bank. Okay, we will do the process there. Then the CAG, yeah, the create the quiz, add question, and create the quiz. The red one will be occurring in this step, yeah, uh, in the individual quiz one, or quiz two, or quiz three, or maybe test our exam. Okay, uh, so that's the concept, yeah? C A C A G. Okay, so please write down this somewhere uh, on your nila, on your table ke, whatever ke. So then I will remember. I will ask again question. Okay, now which step is it? Is it step five? Okay, step five means that grading. Okay, is it step two now? Uh, step two is add question to the newly created categories in the question bank. Okay, so I, uh, I say, okay, this is step four now. Okay, remember, uh, for step four, we have to refer to uh, add question. So we will uh, refer to edit quiz. Uh, kalau I mentioned create a quiz, yeah, the step three, we will refer to the edit setting of the quiz. Okay, uh, that's that's how I'm going to use this CACAP eh? uh, acronym. Okay. All right. Okay. So, like I mentioned just now, uh, so the chacha basically the first two will be happening here, and CAG the red one will be happening inside the individual assessment item. Okay. All right. Okay. This the circular the process lah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, basically the chacha too is the process. First you create this. After that you create this. After that you do this. Do this. Do this. So eventually this the cycles of process eh, to conduct an uh, online quiz. And I've been using this eh, process. The chacha process ni uh, all this while and it really helps me to uh, to not to be confused okay uh, this step how to edit the quiz how where where is the step that i will uh, add question and then if anything happen where is the question uh, where is the step that i i am able to use to edit the question and so on yeah so chacha concept for me yeah the process itself yeah, is very uh helpful to me so uh, i hope it will be helpful also to you yeah Okay, all right. So let's go into the uh, Eden eh, itself. Eh? Okay, so I will uh, switch here eh, from here and there. Yeah. So okay. So now uh, we are going to the first C. Eh? We are going to create categories in the question bank. Okay. Yeah. So when we do this, yeah. Um, we have to, the first thing is, you have to know how to assess the question bank in the e -learn. okay? 
All right. So here in this slide, yeah, uh, I've you know, screenshot and screen clip and yeah, the, the important process how to assess the question bank. I'll show you in the ELEN later. Yeah. So basically from the ELEN, so you look at this here, yeah, uh company cogwheel, yeah, this uh icon. Then if you click this down, then you have more at the bottom here. So you click that one, so it will open up this yeah, uh, window. And then uh, under cost administration trap, yeah, cost administration tab, yeah, so you you can see question bank there. Okay, uh, so these are the area that we are interested in the first CA to the first two step of cha cha. Remember tadi, yeah, uh, CA ni, CA CAG, yeah, ayah ni CA CAG ni. Uh, so the first CA here will be happening in the question bank. Okay, here. In the assessment item nanti, CAG, this one will not be happening in the question bank. It will be inside our uh, section eh, of the e-learn. Okay? Alright. Proper? Yeah? So, how to assess the question bank? Okay. So, I will show in our e-learn. Okay. Basically, you have to log in into your e-learn now. Yeah? Okay? So, you have to log in into your e-learn. I think uh, that one, everybody knows about it. Eh? So, you have to log in into your e-learn. Uh, where is the cock wheel just now? Where is the cock wheel here? This code wheel, yeah, uh, this this icon there. Can you see that? Under your name, yeah? Uh, so you just click there, and then you scroll down, you go to more. Okay, you click more. Okay, uh, then it will open up this yeah, page, yeah? Okay, so there are cost information tab, user tab, report tabs. So you click, make sure you, you click open the cost administration, and then you scroll down, uh, that will be your question bank. Okay, for me this is a very important step, eh? Because before we begin everything, yeah, because because why? Because cha me, this one will be happening in question bank. So the first thing you have to know where or how to get into the question bank. Okay, so I'm repeating the process again. Yeah, okay. So from your once you log in into your knee, then you go to this wheel, yeah, call wheel. Then you go to more, okay, click more. Okay, then you under the cost administration tab. So you scroll down, you go for the question bank. All right, that's how you get uh, into your question bank for the cost. Or before that, you have to go into your, okay, let's say if you start from your dashboard, can kalau you first log in into your e-learn, that, that will be the nilai, the causes, yeah? Uh, for you. So you just click like myself, I just click to this course. Okay, you need to go into this course because each course have their own uh, question bank. Okay, so each course have their own question bank. Okay, so this is the course. So this, I'm assessing the question bank for this course. Okay, so that's why you have to go into the individual course first, then only you go for this step. Yeah? Okay, you click the code wheel, click more, then uh, you open the question bank, okay? Here. All right, then click open the question bank. Okay, click open the question bank. Okay, so this will be your question bank for the course. Okay, again, eh, how do you know you are in the correct course? Okay, make sure you can see this one, eh? uh, your dashboard, and eh? this, this, uh, what the relationship, the, the, I don't know what you call this, yeah. Tapi you can see that this is from dashboard into my courses, into from my courses into the course itself. Then you can see question bank there. Then now is in the question tab. Okay, tapi tak boleh. Okay, yeah. So you have question there. You have categories there. Yeah. You have import there. You have export there. So there are a few tabs there. Okay. Don't worry so much about that. Yeah. Okay. Click open the uh, question here. Yeah? Right. So here question bank. Okay. These are the question. Okay. Uh, because of it's recording yeah? because uh, some of the question here. Uh, uh, how to say, uh, because I use this eh, uh, as my assessment, so I cannot show you the the actual question. Eh? Uh, tapi, but what, what, we, what I can say is from the question itself, there you have this eh, uh, this window and this the question. But more importantly, if you click on categories, eh, click on the categories, nanti, yeah, click on the categories. Uh, yeah, my internet a bit slow. okay so in the categories okay it depends on your course yeah maybe some of you already have lots of categories that my course here uh, because we have been using yeah, this quite actively so the way i group 
the categories nanti the question inside so many subcategories subcategories there uh, depending on the the way you manage your ni lah ya your uh, your apa your question bank so i'm still talking about the question bank here ya yeah? i'm still here ya yeah? in the question bank now like i mentioned to you just now so we have question bank so within question bank i can create category a b and c right okay so you can see here uh, these are my all my categories there I have uh, this one I created yesterday for the sake of our for the purpose of our uh, webinar today. So I will show you how to create this nanti, yeah, quickly. Uh, but these are all the the working lah, working categories yeah, uh, for this semester with my co uh, lecturers. Yeah. So in this course we have uh, five of us teaching the course. Yeah. So if you notice yeah, the way I I I create the category, I manage the question. Uh, either I use names or I use the um, activity itself. Yeah, uh, or maybe uh, for example here test I use test uh, here chapter one chapter two chapter three uh, and also the practical also I have uh, categories yeah, because my practical also I give uh, online quiz yeah, for my practical uh, so uh, depends on how you want to manage your categories yeah okay, tapi tak apa don't get yourself confused with all this so for the sake of our seminar I've created yeah a dummy yeah. Uh, categories and also subcategories and subcategories here okay okay so are we okay still okay where are we now okay go back to cacak tadi yeah cacak here we are here now the first C yeah the first step here so I will refer this as step one now okay so we are at step one now yeah create categories in the question bank okay all right create categories yeah okay so how to create categories ni okay like I mentioned to you, uh, this the screenshot eh, of the, the one in the Eden exactly here. Uh, this one in my PowerPoint. So uh, for the sake of our learning today, uh, I have created uh, a mother eh, a mother category here. I call it Elan and US and webinar. And then under this mother category, yeah, the parent category, I have two subcategories here. I have final exam, then I have test. Okay, I created this uh, for Nila to to be used uh, in our webinar today. Yeah? Along the way, I'm going to use this. Yeah, but now I'm 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 describing the categories. Yeah, okay. So if you notice here, uh, this the the name of the categories. So you can see icons here. You have the uh, trash here, meaning that you can delete the whole category here. If I delete this Elena USM, I'll be de also deleting all this. But if I delete, yeah, for example the subcategories here question three i just delete this so i will remove only question three category yeah so the rest of the category remains there yeah? okay so then uh, i have the cogwheel here icon again here if i click this this one for edit button if you want to do some editing but simple editing only just to change the name uh, if you don't like the final exam here okay you want to change it to uh, let's say uh, uh, final exam exam score yeah okay so you use the Coil here, the edit button here. Okay, this is the arrow here. You notice eh? there are left arrow, down arrow, then here have the right arrow, here are the upper uh, uh, moving up eh? arrow. So basically, this arrow if where you want to reshuffle. Eh? Let's say uh, you want, you said, Alamak, uh, question three here should be under test zero. So you cannot simply move, eh? you cannot simply drag and drop. Eh? So you have to use this arrow one by one. Okay, now let's say if you want to move question three category here under test zero, ni, you also, this is kind of above test zero. So you basically you want to move this question three category below. But if you look at the arrow here, there is none kan? Uh, arrow down. Eh? There's no uh, uh, apa, uh, arrow down um, number. There's no um, uh, downwards arrow. Eh? So what you have to do, you have to move this one into the same hierarchy as final exam and test zero ni. and then only you will you will move this i will show you in the event eh? okay so basically that's the first yeah uh, the first c ni create categories this one is the simplest one because the the mo the, the most difficult part will be the add questions now yeah? okay but before we go into add question ni, okay let me show you how to edit categories in the event eh? okay so what i can do is okay i Okay, if you want to, now I'm going to show you how to add categories. Eh? Okay, uh, I will create a new one. Yeah, uh, okay, so, okay, you scroll, if you click categories here, make sure you are in this type, eh, categories, you scroll down. 
Okay, then you have this yeah, parent category yeah, and the add category here. So and default, yeah. So if you click down here, then you have all the category categories already. So don't worry. So you just click uh, the top here, yeah, top for me. So you create because I want to create uh, their siblings, yeah, uh, sisters for this uh, categories. Yeah. So I will call it uh, Elon Two at USM Webinar. Okay. So I will right here Elon. Is it Elon 2 at USN? Elon 2, okay. Just name it as Elon 2, yeah? So just at USM uh, webinar. Okay, so I'm creating a new category under the top. Uh, this one just by default, yeah? Top of the meaning that this is the highest hierarchy, lah. Uh, so this is hierarchy one, yeah? Uh, then this is hierarchy two, yeah? So, so okay, don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll create this one first, then hopefully you can understand the hierarchy later, okay? So you... Uh, name the 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 new category there. Elon at uh, two at USM webinar. Then just click add category. Okay. Then a new category will be uh, where is it? Okay. Elon two. Elon two. Okay. Down here. Usually a new category will be uh, created at the bottom eh, of the list. Okay. So now how do I move this Elon two? to be uh, up here. Okay, this is where I use the arrow up here. See, arrow up here? We just click, move up. So just click, yeah, you can see, okay, then, okay. So now it moved already, just underneath the ELAN, yeah, uh, at USM webinar. So I have the newly created category here. Okay, so if you notice from this, yeah, uh, dummy here, so you can see I have also final exam and test. So what I'm going, what, okay, what actually I have done here, um, today in the webinar, I will show you about uh, tests, yeah, how to create tests, uh, and also uh, how to design a final exam. So we are going to use this uh, interchangeability, yeah? Okay, that's why uh, in the question bank, uh, we, it's good if you create categories first, yeah? So, okay, I will uh, copy exactly like, I've done here some of it yeah, to show you the process. Yeah. But then after that, I'll be using uh, this, yeah, the, the one I already created because we don't have much time. Yeah. But I will show you how to create, uh, for example, let's say I create final exam. Yeah. I will show you how to create uh, categories final exam and then category question one, question two, question three. Yeah. So you get some ideas on how to create categories. Yeah. Remember from Chachak just now, we are still on the first C, yeah, creating categories. Yeah. Okay, so what we'll, what we'll do now? In the ELEN, yeah, get uh, two categories here. I want to create final exam categories. So I click ELEN at USM. Ni. Okay, see, ELEN at USM here. Okay, so there is no, can okay, this one under already quick question. You want that? So you click categories. Okay, then you scroll down. Okay, make sure the parent categories now is ELEN 2 at USM. Because why? Because I want to create. A new category here, final exam under yeah, this parent eh, categories. Do you notice the hierarchy? This is the parent, this is the first hierarchy, this is the second hierarchy, this one the second hierarchy, right? This one the third hierarchy. Okay, this final exam will be under the parents ELAN at USM. So I want to create a similar category, final exam under ELAN 2 parents. Eh? Okay, so make sure you have sure you have chosen the right parents yeah even two then just type them here uh, find is it exam or final exam is now okay final exam so just click very simple eh? step number one chart me create a very simple okay final exam yeah make sure under parents even two at usm then you type the names of the new categories then you click add categories okay uh, then you will see uh, there all right Final exam category under parents ELEN 2 at USM webinar. Okay, so now this one done, this one done. Eh? So now I'm going to create category for question one under this yeah, uh, category, yeah, final exam. So uh, question one, so I scroll down. Okay, then here I choose, make sure you choose the right parents. Yeah? Okay, I want to create under final exam the parents. Yeah, make sure you've chosen, yeah, I've chosen the right parents. Yeah? Final exam under ELEN 2, not final exam under ELEN. Yeah, uh, make sure you, you have chosen the right categories. So, final exam here, then you name it. 
Okay, question one. Okay, so because after this, I want to create uh, question two, three, right? So immediately after I have type question one here, I will select this, then I copy this, control C, eh? control C. Or you can use copy here, yeah? but usually I will use the control C on the keyboard faster. Eh? So control C, so I'm copying this. Okay, then I click category. Add category, yeah? Okay, now we have this question one, category under category final exam, under ELEN 2 at USM. So I, now I want to create another two categories, question two and three under final exam here. So again, repeat the process, make sure the parents is correct, ELEN 2, but now because ELEN 2, I want to create the question uh, category two, question one, question two and three under final exam. Make sure I've chosen final exam as the parent. So I paste, just now I copyright, now I paste control V, question one, right? So I just delete, change it to question two. So it's very quick, eh? add category. Okay, all right. So now I have category question two now. So I will repeat the same process to create question three. Okay, make sure you choose the right parents. Okay, final exam. Here, paste, change it to three. So you have add categories. So you have now, uh, Final exam, you have question one, question two, question three. Okay, easy, right? Okay, so far, any question on this? Yeah, this is the first step. Eh? This is the first step for our uh, uh, chart chart here. So this is the, now we are here now, create categories. This one should be easy, yeah? Uh, maybe uh, in the webinar, uh, I took about a few minutes yeah, to to to, uh, to, to, discuss, uh, to mention about this, yeah? A bit by right, it should be very easy. Once you know about this, you you after you uh, understood about this, it will be very easy yeah, for the first step. Create categories. Okay, so you get the, the ideas. Eh? Okay, for me, creating categories is very important because uh, inside the categories letter, this is where you will create, you will add question into the categories. Yeah. So, any question on this? Clear, yeah? Okay, that's how you create categories. Yeah? Okay. All right. So for the sake of the uh, the the rest of the webinar, I'll be using this eh, uh, Elan and USM webinar. Eh? So um, I don't want to use this anymore. Yeah. Uh, so let's say okay. Before that, eh, before that, uh, let's say if you want to change can uh, question one now uh, is no more under final exam eh, as the parent. You want to make question one as the same hierarchy as final exam here. Eh? So now if you look at the hierarchy, this one hierarchy one, hierarchy two, hierarchy three, right? So you want to make question one into the same hierarchy as final exam. So what, what can you do? So you just use the left arrow button here. But so make char, eh? okay, so you make char of Elon to see. Uh, now, uh, question one now, the same hierarchy as final exam categories. Just by using the arrow here. Yeah. Okay, right? So now if you read, Elon 2 uh, has two children. One is final exam, and another one is question one. Uh, this is question one, two, and three is the children of the final exam. Uh, so you can see the hierarchy now, change. But let's say if you want to put this back under final exam, then you just you know, move it under me, make sure you don't change here, yeah, it's under final exam. Then you use the right arrow button, arrow, the right arrow here. Then it will go back into uh, final exam. Yeah. But now the sequence already changed, right? So you want to put question one at the top here. Yeah, one, two, and three. So you just use the arrow up. So it's a bit, you know, one step at a time. You cannot, you cannot jump, eh? So now question three, uh, question one already on top of question three. So you want to move this further up. Yeah, so you just use the arrow up. Click once, okay, wait. Okay, then, okay, now I have question one back at the top. Eh, question one, question two, question three, under final exam category folder under Elan two and USM webinar category. Okay, okay. Let's say if you do want question three here, you want to delete this category. Okay, just use this here, yeah? uh, delete function. Okay, uh, so you delete. Be careful, eh? It didn't ask you. Are you sure you want to delete? No, you will delete straight away. You see, question three, uh, categories deleted already. Okay, so be careful of this function. There is no uh, question, but sometimes they will ask you, okay, let me check, but I don't want to take the risk. Okay, sorry. Yeah? So just be sure, yeah, if you want to use this delete features, make sure you 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 think about it. Yeah? Uh, don't, don't just simply just click, click, 
Because at the moment, there is no question. How do I know there is no question here? Because if you look at the category here, there is uh, that number is right in the bracket here. So it shows it's written here zero. So zero meaning that there is no question yet in the categories. But if you refer to this folder, you see category, right? Lecturer A, you see six here. So meaning that they are already, I've created six questions already inside here. I've added six questions already in the categories. Uh, that one will be, we will cover in the second step nanti ya. The CACAG, uh, the second step, add question to the categories. We'll do that after this. Yeah? But just um, at the moment, try to make you understand uh, how to read the information based on the categories. Yeah? Okay, so here under the final exam categories, I have question one, two, and three. Okay, can you tell me which one, which uh, categories have question? Question two, question three, zero, zero, meaning that there is no yet, not yet, yeah? There's no question yet. Here, you can see two, meaning that there are two questions already inside the category one, eh, inside uh, question one category, okay? All right. Okay, so any question on these categories? Very straightforward, yeah? Okay, one last button I forgot. To okay, let's say you want to change the name right here. Okay, you don't want this to be Eden 2 now. You want to be uh, Eden 3. So you just click the button here, the code wheel. Yeah, click once. And you just change here. So this is the Eden 3 now. So you just click Save Changes. So it's very easy, yeah, uh, for this first part, yeah, creating categories. Now it become Eden 3. Okay, so the edit button here, just merely to change the name of the categories. That's it. Okay. All right. Okay. Are we okay now? All right. Yeah? So for the sake of the learning today, so I will delete this new yeah, categories, subcategories, and also these categories yeah, from uh, my question bank. So I will use this feature, delete. Okay. So now I have, I've deleted the eLearn2 uh, just now, eh? Uh, but Oh, then I still have the final exam here. Okay. So I will also delete this one. Oh, so meaning that if you delete the, the parents, eh, it will not delete the... So meaning here, if you delete the individual categories, it will not delete the uh, the subcategories yeah, of the categories. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so again, uh, this is part of the ELEN 2 just now. So I also want to delete question 1 here. I already have question one and two here uh, under my Elan, uh, original Elan. Already. So this one also, I don't want this. So I will delete this also. Okay, so I've come back to the original just now, yeah? Uh, with the, my already created um, categories here. So the, the newly created uh, Elan 2 at USM webinar and the rest of uh, its subcategories has been yeah, deleted. Yeah? It's no more there. Okay, so that's how you manage your categories yeah, in the question bank. Okay, so we have done create categories in the question bank. Okay, so quick refresh. Okay, so and the first one here, create categories. Okay, I've shown you how to create categories just now and also how to manage your categories. And eventually, if you want to delete also, you can also delete the categories. Yeah. Okay, now we go into the A there. Yeah, add question to the newly created categories in the question bank. Okay, so here under this... Uh, second A here. So um, here in this slide, I have combined CA. Okay. Remember CA occurring in the question bank. Okay. Remember tadi just now? Uh, CA, the green one here occurring in the question bank. Okay. The CAG will be occurring in the assessment item, uh, quiz, uh, the online quiz yeah, letter. Okay. So for here, CA, yeah, create categories and add question. Okay, so this is the already created categories in step one, yeah. Now, in step two, we want to add, yeah, we want to add question to the newly created categories. Okay, this is our newly created categories. So, we want to add question into the categories. Okay, as you can see here, here, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, okay. Meaning that there is no yet, yeah, there's no question in all the categories here, okay. So, what we'll do, we want to create question, okay. Uh, let's say I want to create question into lecturer A category. Yeah? Okay. If you notice here, the way I design the categories here in my ELEN, I, I put up final exam, I put up test. So for test, uh, because let's say uh, there are three lecturers, lecturer A, B, and C teaching the, the same course. So we want to conduct our test. So I asked my colleagues, okay, lecturer A, okay, could you please uh, 
uh, send me the question or if you want you can create question in the e-learn and put it uh, under uh, category lecture A in the question bank. Okay, so maybe lecturer A will do that uh, and then lecturer B also will do the same and uh, me as lecturer C will do the same also. Yeah? Okay, but sometimes um, uh, they will email me the question then I will create, I will add the question uh, into the uh, question bank eh, myself. Eh? So it doesn't matter. But the most important thing is uh, for, you know, in order for you to grade, yeah, to have to conduct the uh, online quiz or test or final exam, you need to have question bank, uh, question in your question bank. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my uh, my suggestion. Okay, all right. So now, how to add question to the categories? Okay, so under question categories, import and export. Yeah, okay. So you just select a category. Let's say because I want to create now a question in category lecturer A. So make sure the parents yeah, is lecturer A. And then if you notice there are some options in the T. So there are show question text. There are also show question from the subcategories. Also show all questions. Usually I will check all these three. Okay. If you don't check, you can explore eh, Nati, yeah? But usually I will check. Lah. Okay. So after I've made sure I've chosen the right uh, category, the parents category here, yeah? then I create, I, I click create a new question. Okay, when you create a new question, Nanti, then you have this uh, pop-up window eh, come out. So you can, you, it will ask you choose a question type to add. Uh, so you have all this type of question. Yeah? If you scroll down, there are a few more. Yeah? So you have multiple choice, true, false, matching, and so on. So in this webinar, I will not be showing all this. I will be uh, showing you how to create uh, multiple choice, true, false, and then um, below here you have multiple true false and also uh, short answers here yeah? uh, or AC question. I will use AC question. So yeah, I'm not going to show all yeah, because uh, number one, I myself, I do not know everything here, how to create all the questions here. And uh, the purpose of this webinar today is more on the focusing on this, yeah, this cha cha. Yeah, the five steps, yeah, the five main step. For me, if you understand this cha cha process, and then uh, it will help you a lot. And then after that, if you want to explore on the individual question here, uh, you can do that on your own, yeah? Uh, because uh, there are help function in the Moodle, so you can explore. They will give you details of the steps of how to create matching, short answers, and so on, okay? All right. So now, once you have chosen the type of question, okay, uh, then you will add, you click add until, then you have question uh, added, yeah? Uh, to the category in the question bank. So remember, now I want to create question into category lecture A. Okay, then after I've done that, I click add. Yeah, then uh, then we have to uh, fill up you know, uh, questions. Yeah, uh, convert the question from maybe from our Microsoft Word ke, into uh, the Elan. And then after that, we'll have a question here. Yeah? Okay, so for this webinar, uh, we show you uh, this four, eh? uh, th this uh, four question here, uh, the, MC the MCQ and true false. So basically, MCQ uh, multiple choice question. Yeah, uh, so we have uh, one correct answer. One. Yeah, I will show you how to create this question and one best answer. Okay, what is the difference between one correct answer? One correct answer ni mana nya is okay. Let's say this question: Which of the following is not an animal? So the answer, uh, the mark is one mark, yeah. So the only answer is grip, yeah. Uh, one correct answer. The rest, if the student give cat, tiger, dog, uh, then uh, definitely they get zero lah. But if they chosen grip, then they will get full mark. Okay. What about negative marking? Okay, nanti this one I will show you how. Eh, so maybe some of you say, okay, lah, I want to get put. Okay, if the student put grip, then they get one mark. But if they put the rest. B, C, and D uh, minus uh, a quarter of the mark. Uh, you can do that yeah, in our island. Yeah? So that's what we call negative marking. So student can nowadays, they, so that you try to make sure uh, student, they will not tembak-tembak lah. They shoot kan. Or maybe they don't, do not know the answer. For example, they say, okay lah, why don't uh, I just put uh, C, tiger. Uh, but when they know there is a negative marking, so they will be more careful. Alamak, they say, say if I've chosen the incorrect answers, yeah, then I have a uh, quarter mark deducted. Uh, so that's kind of uh, attitude. Lah, yeah? So you want to develop student 
uh, to be sure with their uh, answers kan so you may use negative marking yeah so medical and pharmacy sometimes we also use yeah negative marking okay so i'm not sure about medical nowadays but when when my time last time they uh, they did use negative marking yeah okay All right. then one best answer one best answer basically uh which are for example yeah uh, maybe some of the question is not a good one uh, i'm not teaching about animals yeah i'm teaching about human yeah but for the sake of the webinar i'm just i just created this question yeah so maybe some of these questions are not vetted so don't ask me about the validity and the quality of the question yeah? but just i i put in, i put up the question here just to portray yeah? the, the 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 type of the questions yeah? that we uh, i'm going to share in the webinar today okay so one best answer okay meaning that uh, which of the following fruit uh, usually exists in aggregates yeah we bundle yeah? so i put up here grape rambutan mata kucing and mango right so if you notice here, uh, the best answer is grape lah, kan? In aggregates, many they in bundles. Rambutan also in bundles, but not as good as, uh, not as, apa, as uh, the aggregation, not as much as grape. And followed by mata kucing and mango also, depending on some, some can say a mango, mango is just a one piece of mango, or maybe uh, from the bundle, kan? If you, from the tree, you can see there are sometimes from the start, kan? You have maybe three or four of uh, mangoes. So some, uh, some uh, person also may refer that as as uh, aggregates uh, so doesn't matter yeah but for me the best answer uh, is grapes nah. so so you want to assign the full mark which is one mark to this answer grape but some student maybe say oh for for him maybe say oh rambutan uh, so but for you uh, maybe in the teaching and eh, during your teaching you have already mentioned about this uh, but that student, yeah, they pick up rambutan, so he'll be getting 70% of one mark. So meaning that he will not be getting full mark, he'll be getting 0 0.75 marks, yeah. Okay, and what about mata kucing? Uh, so if the student choose mata kucing, then uh, he or she will be getting only half mark. Okay, so this we can assign this uh, in our Eden, yeah. And then the third question, uh, true false, nih. this one the simple true false, uh, just one sentence, true or false. So I've given here 0 0.5 mark. The answer here is false or true? Uh, false, yeah. Okay, then we have multiple true false. Okay, here multiple true false, nih, uh, where you can uh, have a combination of uh, many simple true false. Okay, here for example, yeah, which of the following statements are true about the animal below? So I have two marks. So I have four sentences here. So four sentences here. So each sentence carries zero point five marks. Yeah, like individual. Can you imagine that each sentence here is a single simple true false question but now i combine these four sentences into one question nanti you can create this yeah this quest type question in the elan i will show you all this yeah and finally uh, this is the fifth question uh, this is the essay all right uh, this is the essay and usually here in this example again uh, so sorry about the quality of the question this one just i just dumb the i mean whatever i have in my mind yeah, last night when i created uh, these questions yeah but to show you uh, maybe some of this again uh, um, uh, design of question uh, has been used okay also oh, dr niza can students see the field okay mm, no no actually yeah dr niza no uh, as far as i understood yeah uh, student cannot see the 50 percent or so they, they want only we the the lecturer will tell the system that i will show you after this yeah dr niza yeah okay so go back to the essay. I have three questions here. Uh, question number one, question number two, question number three. Okay. Uh, usually in pharmacy, we give this kind of question uh, for, for my part of physiology or uh, in our integrated papers. Eh? Okay. So here, uh, each question carry 10 marks. Okay. Question one, 10 marks. Question two, 10 marks. If you notice here, six, four, four, six. And question three here, you have also 10 marks. Eh? All right. So let's say eh, question A. Question 1A. Okay, let's see. Um, question 1A is taught by or belongs to lecturer A. Uh, so, meaning that one lecturer, one CLO. Lah, yeah? uh, then, question 1B belongs to lecturer B. Uh, this is where I mean, if you look at this question, yeah, usually in our printed one, no issues, right? Because you just just put exactly like you have seen, yeah? you're seeing in the screen here, right? But in the e-learn, is a bit uh, a bit different because you have for me my suggestion nanti one uh, a you will design as one question one b as one question uh, yeah two a as one question two b as one question because maybe some of you uh, maybe some of you uh, you when you design the essay question one a and one b together 
as one question. Uh, so for me, that that is a bit difficult. Eh? Uh, I don't. I'm not suggesting that. I will suggest uh, one A as one individual question, one B individual, uh, two A, two B individual, individual, and also here also uh, this question. Uh, I notice some of you maybe like us uh, pharmacy. We also have use case yeah, uh, case based question. So you have case then followed by individual question, right? So how to go about with this? So I'm going to suggest yeah, um, uh, the way to design uh, this type of question in the ELEM. All right, okay. So go back to our question. So we are going to set up five questions. So basically five types. You know, one correct answer, one best answer, and then simple true false, multiple true false, and also essays. Yeah. Uh, in our uh, second step here, add questions to the newly created categories. Okay, are we okay? Uh, this will be the, the longest part. Lah, uh, after that, uh, create quiz will be easy. Uh, add questions also will be easy. Uh, great quiz will be easy also. Uh, for me, the most difficult and uh, for me, uh, longest part will be uh, second yeah? second step, yeah? the add question to the newly created categories. So are we okay now? Are we still okay? So where are we now? We are in the second step, add question to the newly created categories, okay? So what we'll do, uh, we will use, follow this step, yeah? We choose the parent category and then we create new question. So when you will create new question, nanti, there are, there are many types of question. So in this webinar, I'll be showing you uh, how to create one, two, three, four, five types of questions. So are we ready? Yes? Okay, all right. So maybe before that, eh, maybe you want to know the end product, right? Okay, this is question number one. You see on paper, on paper is look like this, right? Okay, which of the following is not an animal, right? I just copy this, exactly what you see here. But once you created this in the e it will sh appear as this. Uh, this how the question will look like in our e letter. Okay, uh, this one I recreated. Yeah, don't, don't worry. I will show you how. But I just want to show you the end product. Okay, this one one correct answer. Yeah, my name is MCQ lah. We are using MCQ. So what you can see here, uh, this is the question. Which of the following is not animal? So these are the sentence here. Yeah? Uh, so these are the option. Can the tiger, cat, grape, dog, and so on. Okay, if you notice. Uh, why the grip n is no more a here grip now becomes c because i shuffle the answers uh, so when i preview the question then the system shuffle me so now grip is no more a uh, grip is put it as c uh, then and cat okay uh, just change the tiger then with the grip here yeah? so tapa the one doesn't matter because i don't day uh, as long as you have set the uh, correct answer the system will mark for you okay but what is important here make sure why okay this feature you see under preview nanti so i will i will emphasize the importance of the uh, yeah, importance of the preview nanti later on okay in essay questions to look at our flow chart uh, yes okay nanti uh, uh, when i go into essay nanti uh, i will discuss about this eh? uh, dr nur eh? okay so now i'm showing you uh, what are the things that important eh, when uh, and also the final product eh? so here one correct answer is very important also to make sure one mark is one mark here uh, this is very also important. So in the preview, it's not about you want to see how the final question will appear. Uh, sorry, how the question will appear as a final, uh, 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 in the final form. Yeah, but also as a this is also a mechanism for you to double check, make sure you have put the right marks. Yeah. So if the question worth one mark, make sure the system also put here as one mark. Okay. All right. This is question number one. Then number two, one best answer. Yeah? Okay. Uh, so this how the question will appear is not much different from one correct answer tadi because both are MCQ yeah okay but again make sure one mark one mark okay okay yeah right this one the true false okay in the printed one yeah you will see like this but in Elan you will see like this yeah there are three months okay make sure 0 0.5 mark 0 0.5 mark and the system in the Elan it will put true or false as the answer so student just choose true or false okay all right this one the multiple true false okay this is the question the printed one so in the elan it will show it will come out as this so we can this is the sentence okay uh, we can insert image the image inside as part of the question okay and then uh, these are the answers yeah? it has four legs it has four legs so when they click choose they yeah, they can either put as true or false Okay, it has two tails, then choose true or false. 
Yeah, okay. And make sure, oh, sorry, this one, the box. Okay, tak apa, just, uh, ni ya. Yeah. Should be, the box should be inside here. Okay, make sure the marks also, two marks here, two marks here. Okay, all right. How about ni, apa ni, Dr. Uh, how about multiple answers in MCQs? Yes, that one also can. Yeah, Dr. Uh, Abdul Reza, yeah? all right. That one also, we can put also multiple answers. Oh, multiple answers, you mean Roman, yeah? Is it one, two, three? let's say one roman one roman two roman three then uh the answers is it that like that eh, dr abdul reza uh dr uh yeah. thank okay, you thank yeah. you yeah uh you know uh some questions the students can choose more than one answer maybe okay. yeah they, they can choose yeah. two yeah. two answer is correct yes okay the one also we can we can set in the elan i will show you yeah all right yeah okay okay, okay. okay. thank you all right Okay, so, uh, all right, so now uh, I've shown you, uh, where are we now? We are still in step two, yeah, cha-cha, eh? CA, create categories, and A, add questions now, okay? So I will show you in the e-learn, okay? We go to the e-learn. This is how in the e-learn you want to add questions, yeah? All right, so we go to the first one, the first question here, okay? The first question, yeah, MCQ, yeah? So we want to convert this into this, yeah, question. Okay, so... Uh, so what you can do is okay uh, because let's say okay first number one yeah, you have to make sure you choose the correct categories yeah? okay uh, if you notice here in lecturer A here I've already created six questions yeah? uh, tapi for the sake of the webinar I will choose category B now because there is no question there so I click lecture B lecturer B categories now I want to add the question into lecturer B categories yeah? so make sure the correct category is selected here Okay, like I mentioned to you just now, this one I normally I will check, check, check. Yeah, because it, it will, as you, you can read here, it's very straightforward. Yeah? Okay, then create a new question. So, okay, number one tadi, uh, okay, let, can I, instead of this one, uh, tabla, okay, okay. Uh, so I will choose this one. Yeah? So this question is a multiple choice question. So you choose multiple choice. Click, make sure it's click there. Yeah? Okay, then you click add. Okay. So this will appear. Okay, all these options will appear. General, answer, combined feedback, multiple tries, and text. Okay, so don't worry about all these five. Yeah, uh, but the most important yeah, uh, menus here will be general, this one. Okay, and it will be answers. Uh, this is where you put, yeah, you tell the system what is the answers. And the rest, yeah, usually I don't bother with this. Yeah, I don't, I don't give feedback. Yeah, uh, I don't bother to write your answer correct. Uh, whether well done, couple. Uh, usually, I don't give that. Yeah? So, I just leave it this. But up to you. If you want to give the feedback nanti, you can put your feedback. Lah, yeah? uh, so, you can explore on this. Yeah? But usually, I don't. I just ignore this part. Okay, then multiple tries. Okay, uh, this one penalty. Okay, again, this a bit complicated. But I will not uh, touch on this. Yeah? Uh, but so, meaning that I just ignore this part. And the tagging. And the tagging ni, uh, is also, usually, I will ignore. But for today's webinar, I will show you uh, the useful uh, use of it, yeah? uh, if you want. Yeah? Okay, so basically from all five, the most important two are the general and the answers. So, okay. So, let's go into the first one, yeah? menu general. So, what are we doing now? We are adding multiple choice. Yeah? Okay, under, if you notice, yeah, under general, make sure you have chosen the right categories. Yeah? Under lecturer B, so question, okay, because this is an MCQ. Okay. For me, uh, it's good for you to name yeah, the, the question, okay, uh, based on the type. So here, because uh, from my Elan, uh, from my list of questions just now, this will be my first question. So I will put this as number one, and I put MCQ 1CA. That's my coding usually, yeah. Okay, I put question number one. So I know this question will appear first usually, yeah, on, on printed uh, assessment, yeah. But in the Elan, when I shuffle nanti, it could be first question ataupun middle question or any que anywhere eh, in the uh, test. Eh? Uh, tapi just for the sake of my recording, I will put here question number one. It's a type of MCQ and it's a uh, one, apa tadi, what is the name? Okay, uh, one correct answer, OCA. Okay. okay, question number one, MCQ, OCA. Uh, in this case, because I have only one OCA, so I will... Just don't put numbers. But if I have another uh, one correct answer down here, another question here, 
So usually I put here, this one, the first one, and then the next one we put as number two. So this one become number two. Okay, that's the coding usually. So it depends on you. So for me, I will suggest you create a, a, a coding, yeah? Okay. So here, my coding, the question name, uh, question number one, will, this question will appear first. What type of it is MCQ? Okay, what type of MCQ? It's a one, uh, one correct answer. And this will be the first uh, one correct answer question. Okay, all right. That's how I name it. Yeah? Okay. Oh, it's marking. Okay, tak dengar juga. Okay, sorry. Okay. Okay, all right. Sorry, yeah. Lupa pula. Okay. All right. So now, yes, yes. Uh, maksudnya uh, the question bank yep. it doesn't have to be uh, inside the the e learn right you have, you can have somewhere else. Uh okay. Uh yes, you are right. You but can keep you... it in, in your desktop in, in your computer then you just copy and paste into the this uh that one also yeah. can. That's that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing now. Uh okay, meaning that okay, this question right. This question uh, actually this one in my words, Microsoft Word. So I created this, uh, uh, the question in the Microsoft Word. So what I'm doing now, I'm transferring this yeah, from Word into our ELAN. Okay, Dr. Saidi? So meaning that... Yeah, that means, that means, that means uh, having having the question bank inside mm -hmm. the ELAN is not compulsory, it's not something that you have to write. Uh, okay, nah, okay. There are... Because, few... because, because that's why I ask. Because uh -huh. in, uh, let's say in dentistry, we have like one course, but we have like six or seven lecturers sharing that yes. course. Yes. yes. Uh, so if you create the the the, bank, the question bank, the question bank is actually the collective of all the lecturers. So yeah, you need to have your own section there, I guess. Yes, yes, that's right. That's what I've, I've done with my, yeah, my, my, my teaching also, my, my course. So there are five of us. So what I've done is like this. So if you notice, yeah, okay, uh, for example, then, yeah, Okay, this one eh, for test one, because uh, for test one uh, will be myself, uh, Puaniza and Dr. Shah. So each one of us, I created uh, a category based on uh, based on the lecturer. So you are the course coordinator for this one, is it? Yes, I'm the course coordinator. Tapi not necessarily the course coordinator will do this because in the other... Yeah, yeah, other, well, of course, other everybody group, can. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, so, but right. it's good to have one, one person that manage the e-learn. And the rest of the knee, my name, for example, like this, right? Okay, let's say I manage this. I've created all this, then I'll mention, uh, I, I mentioned to my knee and my, my colleagues. Okay, Puaniza, uh, okay, if you want to create question, make sure you put your question into your categories. Uh, click Niza. So when she wants to create question, she will click the category and then we'll add question into the category. Okay, Tapi, go back to your question that I did just now. Uh, okay, about the question bank. In our e-learn, uh, there is, there will always be a question bank. And it's good if you create, I mean, you add question into the question bank that I'm showing now. Okay, that's yeah? the idea. It's about the question bank tadi. Because sometimes we get confused, uh, question bank uh, in e-learn and also other question bank. Maybe maybe sometimes uh, we practice question bank uh, in our computer, right? In in the form of Microsoft Word and so on. That one also question bank. But now what I'm, 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 I'm mentioning here is we, we put all the question in our question bank outside the question question bank of the ELAN. Uh, so we put all the question into our ELAN, the question bank of our ELAN here. So as you will notice here, uh, this one can under this, uh, Dr. Farah, uh, she put her question here. I, I cannot click the question eh, because uh, if I click because this is recorded, nanti uh, bocor lah soalan eh. Uh, tapi as you can, you can notice uh, under each categories, there are four questions here, Dr. Lee, there are two questions. So if you notice, eh, uh, it depends on how you manage the categories. Yeah, that's the idea. Okay, uh, yes, if you yes. start, okay, folder. Okay, yes, uh, Dr. Zul, eh, uh, this is the beauty of uh, having question in the question bank of Elan because when you back up and then you restore into the new academic year, all the question will be carried forward. If you notice here, yeah, uh, this question, actually, uh, we have used this uh, in academic year 2019-2020. Yeah, 2019, but when I uh, open it, uh, back up, when I restore, yeah, restore uh, this, uh, the content of the island in from the, maybe I create backup from this version, uh, this sidang, then I back up in the latest one here, uh, 2020. So I have all the questions still there. So that's why if you notice, eh, if I, if you notice here, uh, I, I name, I need to create new categories here according to the sidang. 
so to get to apa to prevent myself uh, from confused eh this question we use in which academic year eh? uh, so that's why i name it 2019-2020 and then this one is 2020 stroke 21 uh, okay all right okay so um, I did, I did, uh, yes uh, uh, yes, the yes. reason I ask yep. because last time we have a MQA uh, yes. came to our school, yep. so they are very particular in terms of where you put your question bank. Uh, so yeah. last time they, they give us uh, NCR for having okay. multiple computers. So they they suggest actually the academy office have what just one laptop uh, oh. marked as a, uh, where you you store the the bank. So course coordinator cannot hold any better question. If you hold any better question, it give you NCR. Mm, okay, so that okay. is not an yeah. issue because because yes. uh, you have to check with the uh, with the regulation of the university as well because uh, uh, not everybody can hold the uh, vetted question. I mean, quiz is okay, but the exam yep. question is something very tricky as well. Yes, that's right. Okay, now, now I get I get your your question, your perspective. Yeah, that's you, you are right in terms of the security of the questions. You are very true. Uh, that's why, yeah. That's why, uh, okay, for our final exam, right? Usually we vetted for our final exam, but also nowadays we also have to vet for the test, also, right? So, uh, okay, for example, for the test, yeah, this question, uh, we have vetted this question, uh, for the test. But if you notice, yeah, uh, although in this webinar I've created final exam here, but uh, this one just for the sake of showing you the process, saja. But usually the Final exam, we will create this in the uh, exam online eh, platform. Uh, yeah. So, so we usually for the final exam, we will not create in our own e-learn, eh, the one we use for the teaching, but we use it into the apa, We create this in the exam online, the, the one regulated by the exam unit. Yeah, is it is it is it okay, Doctor Saidi, on that? So I I do agree with the security feature tadi. I mean the security aspect tadi. That's very true. So we have to be extra careful, lah, yeah, uh, about about uh, about ni lah, handling the question. Yeah, is it, is it okay, Dr. Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, thank yep. you. Okay, uh, where do you keep the vetted question? Oh, okay, the vetted question usually okay. Uh, for the because vetted ni, uh, okay, kalau based on the exam unit, usually we put it in bilik kebal kan, bilik at the at the school kan. We we keep it uh, uh, apa uh, the printed one ke whatever. Tapi for the online one, eh? uh, that's why I, just, like I mentioned just now, um, for the final exam, we don't use our e-learn, can we use uh, the sister platform that's called exam online. Yeah, exam online, what, what, what are the procedures? Oh, okay, this one regulated, yeah, Dr. Uh, Razif, yeah? this one regulated by the unit exam. Okay, uh, they will open, yeah? uh, like for this semester, uh, and also last semester, they, they open the uh, exam online platform, uh, you have to log in using your USM ID, uh, email, and so on, like like your email or your current e-learn. And then you put up the question there. Then uh, you can only assess certain duration. Now, I think they're already closed. And uh, maybe they open it back because the exam week already yeah, started. Uh, then, uh, so you can assess uh, certain uh, a certain duration. Uh, that's how they control here. Yeah? Um, okay, Dr. Razif, eh? So, okay, banyaknya perkara saya. Oh, okay, all right, happening. Okay, so yeah, yeah, seems complicated. Okay, actually, tak complicated sangat pun ya, Dr. Aniza. Okay, tapi tak apa, it's okay. Uh, okay. Jika sekolah ini untuk melakukan asalnya, ini akan dilakukan di portal. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, betul. Uh, daripada Puan Azana, jika sekolah ini untuk melakukan asalnya secara sekolah, ia, ia akan dilakukan di portal exam online, yes. Yeah? Okay, so when we talk about final exam ni, because we are using the exam online punya portal, yeah? Complicated sebab macam-macam. Oh, okay. Tak apa. It's okay. Dr. Aniza, this one common. Because uh, that's why uh, when when we do not know uh, certain things, then it, it looks complicated. Tapi it's okay. Don't worry. Uh, as you progress slowly, the more you know, the less worry you be. Okay? Don't worry, Dr. Aniza. Okay. Myself also like that, yeah? I think, I believe everyone like that. So, yeah? Okay. All right. So, tak apa. So, already 10.55. Okay. So, uh, so now... Okay, just to keep track, yeah, to go back to there. Okay, what we are doing now, I'm, I'm showing you how to create the question, eh? uh, the, the question here. Okay, so we are creating the one correct answer here. Okay, so I'm showing you, okay, let's say I want to create the uh, MCQ one correct answer here, yeah, into uh, lecturer, under lecturer B, yeah, category. So I click lecturer B just now. Oh, so already, yeah, okay, already there. Lecturer B, again, yeah. 
Okay, so uh, that should be, so I named the question one MCQ, yeah, one, for the, uh, one, uh, one correct answer. So I just, from here, yeah, I need to go back to my, can you imagine that this one, my word, yeah, my Microsoft Word. Okay, here again, this two word. So I just copy, yeah. just copy this. Can you imagine that? Yeah? Although I'm using PowerPoint now, huh? But can you imagine that maybe I recreated this in my Microsoft Word eh? or any text document? So I just select, copy, Ctrl C. Eh? So I, here I put the question text here. So I paste. Okay, okay. So I want to bold this. So I bold. So if you want to have more features, so you just use this arrow, eh? arrow up, arrow down. And if you don't see this eh? HTML editor box, eh? so you have to activate this eh? first. If let's say in your ELAN you don't see all these eh? icons here. Eh? So meaning that you haven't activated your HTML editor menus, yeah? Okay, tapi nanti that one, uh, but I believe nowadays the default, uh, the the HTML uh, editor is already activated. So you should see all the icons here, okay? All right. Yeah, so from there, I just copy, okay, one mark, okay, then, okay. So make sure the information is one mark. So I go down, okay, this is the answer, default. So make sure default mark is one, one mark. Okay, general feedback usually I don't give feedback eh? but if you do if you want you can put some feedback here basically feedback is telling the student lah, eh? uh, anything about the question eh? all right then the ID number just ignore okay this is one answer yeah one answer one answer only so you have also multiple answers but here you choose one answer only yeah because there's only one answer grid here yeah okay then you okay here make sure you shuffle kalau if you want to shuffle the choices of the answers so you make sure you check this and then the numbers eh, of the choices, okay, you want it to appear as A, B, C, and D like this, or you want to have capital A, B, C, you can choose yeah, from here. So you, have, you can have capital or one, two, three, or Roman or num no numbering, okay, up to you, but the default will be A, B, C. Okay, show standard instruction, okay, no need. And just ignore that one, okay. So under 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 this menu, yeah, generally, so just make sure you crack, uh, you have chosen the correct category, okay, and then you name the question, uh, according to your own uh, ni lah ya, uh, coding system. Kalau you just nak put question one pun tak apa, it's okay. But usually I will put here why, I will show you after this. Eh? And then this is the question text. This one again, eh, MCQ. Eh? Uh, so you put the question here. Okay, okay question. Okay, then you make sure the marks is correct there. Then uh, the, it's one answer only. Yeah. And then, uh, okay, make sure it's, you click this one if you want shuffle, then you the number of choices here. Okay. Then the answers. This, this this is where you tell the system, okay, system, okay, please mark this question and these are the choices of uh, answers, but the correct answer will be great. So you want to tell this information to the system. Okay, so how to do that? Okay, number one, you, you have to do this one by one. So you select this, yeah, copy, and then you put, okay, can you see that under answers, there are choice one, choice two, choice three, choice four, right? So in this case, I have four choices, so I'll be using up to choice four. Yeah, so I go back to my choice one here. I paste, great. Okay, here because uh, the the apa ni bullet ni kan function ni kan, so A, B, and C, D will also appear, but you don't want that. So you just want the word creep only. You delete this. Yeah, so do, you don't want A, B, C, and D together, yeah, because that will be will be generated by the system automatically here because you already tell the system. So, okay, system, please name choice one is A, choice two is B, and C. You already tell the system. So, when you put the answer in choice one, don't put with the, the A here. Just put the grid, okay? And then cap, okay? Cap in the second choice here, cap. Okay, again, apa tak? So, you, if you have bullet function, make sure you, you delete that one. Then you have tiger. A, tiger. Okay, then you have, uh, oops. Then you have uh, dog. Okay, dog. Right. So again, all right. Now you have tell the system. Okay, system. This will be the four choices. But which one is the correct one? Because you want usually why we want to go for the apa, for the uh, multiple choice and so on. Because you want the system to mark for you. Okay. So now how to how do you tell the system which one is the correct one? Okay. So you this is how you tell the system. You use the grid function here. So the answer is grip, right? So you want, okay, how much How much is the mark? The mark for the question is one mark today. So you are telling the system, okay, system, if the student put grip, 
So he or she will get full 100 mark. Hey, sorry, full one mark. So 100% of one mark. If the student put cat or tiger or dog, they will be getting 0% of the one mark. Uh, that's how you communicate with the system. Okay, how to put that into practice? Okay, here under grip, you put here, okay, because you, this is the correct answer, right? So if student answer grip, they will be getting full one mark, right? Full one mark here. So you under grip, you put here 100%. So you're telling the system, okay, system, if the student, if the student answer grip, and then you give 100% of one mark, okay, uh, then oh, what about choice two, three, and four? If the student choose cat, you give none, minus zero percent of one mark, so they will be getting zero mark. The tiger also none, the dog also none, uh, that's how you tell the system. Oh, now the system said, oh, okay. All right now i know the question the question is which of the following is not an animal okay then the answer will be grip why because 100 percent of one mark will be given to answer grip uh, to choice uh grip okay but the rest of the choices there will be zero none uh, zero percent of the one will be given for cat tiger and also uh dog uh, that's how the system you tell the system okay all right so after you put the information here yeah then you scroll down. Okay, let's say, let's say if you have uh, more than, let's say like your question, kan? you have uh, more than, uh, let's say you have uh, upper more, kan? Uh, more, more choices. Eh? Okay, right, let's say you have uh, seven. Okay, here you only have up to five, right? Then you can click for more choices. If you click this blank for three more choices, uh, then you have now eight choices. Okay, uh, eight choices. So don't worry if you leave everything here blank, yeah, unused, uh, they will not appear in the final uh, upper, uh, in the final form of the question. All right. So you just use whatever you want. Yeah. For my example here, yeah. So I use uh, I just want to remain as uh, four option. So that's why I just use up to choice number four. Okay. All right. So once you have done that. Okay, like I mentioned to you just now, this one I just ignore, this one is no. Okay, the tag me, maybe, kalau you want to tag, like, kalau you want to search, usually I will use, um, but I seldom use this, yeah? tapi for the sake of the webinar ni, uh, I will usually use the, the type of the question. Lah. So I put it here, under the tag here, uh, yeah, I put as a, a one, one correct answer, right? So I just put the tag here, one correct answer. Okay, then you click outside, then it will have the tagging there. OCA one correct answer. Okay, that's it. If you want to use, but usually I will not use tag lah. Tapi for the sake of the webinar, I'm showing you today. Yeah. Okay. So after you put the tag, so you just click save changes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that is the question. That's the list of the question now. Because it's always the the freshly created question will always be in green. Okay. Okay. This is the name of the question. You see. That's why that's now when I say the coding of the name can I prefer to use it because usually it will have this icon. So this one shows multiple choice, but I, I'm telling to telling the truth. Eh? To tell you the truth, I've been using this years. I cannot tell what whether this symbol refers to MCQ or not. That's why I will depend on the name. So from the name here, I know this question will be the first one to appear. It will uh, in the printed eh, in the printed uh, exam uh, assessment. Tapi in the e-learn because I will shuffle later, so not necessarily question number one will appear as the first question. Yeah, uh, so that's the you have to understand that also. Yeah, tapi in terms of the sequence of the question, I know this will be the first question. It's a what what type of question? It will be MCQ. Uh, in the one correct answer and the first one correct answer format. Okay, all right. Okay, so that's the question. Okay, if you notice here, there's a this is the tag here, OCA. Uh, this is the tag just now, okay? Because the tag here, you can, when you filter nanti, you can filter by the tag here. Okay? Uh, so, because I already created some tags, so these are the tags I've used. But if you want to see nanti, once you have created a few questions nanti, you can uh, filter based on the tags. Eh? That's how you use the tag here. Uh, so, it's just a simple function. Aja. Okay. But the more important here is, if you notice, once you have created a question, then you have this menu, eh? actions. So, if you click here, yeah, this arrow, then you have edit question, duplicate, uh, manage tag, preview, and so on. So my advice to you is, after you have finished, created a question, it's good always to preview. Okay, preview the question. Okay, this is the question, right? Okay, remember just now, uh, this question, right? I've shown you this, right? 
Okay, uh, this is the preview. How do I get this? How, how do I get this? Uh, from the preview function. Uh, so this one, the preview function. But you notice, right? Then, uh, why, why is not as good as this, right? There are issues here. Uh, so I will, I, will set, I will deal with this later, yeah? Okay. The PC is the, the appear and that. Uh, I will go straight now. Yeah, okay. So, okay, actually, actually, this, these issues, uh, I have one section here uh, to address, so I, I jump straight to the here. So what is wrong here? Okay, uh, so the thing is because if you, because uh, just now I create question using my uh, PowerPoint, right? So now the PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, they are so smart, right? Uh, so smart meaning what? Okay, if you notice here, when you have text, can, can usually here, you have the function, right? So here you can see the bullet function here, yeah? So you have the, the bullet function here and also sometimes kind of formatting eh? into the formatting here also you can notice eh? uh, sometimes uh, because the words so uh, smart they will try to make your document uh, you will format your document uh, to appear nice but the, the, the thing is sometimes the, the between two systems they don't communicate uh, similarly so here uh, what is the reason I'm seeing here because uh, when I convert eh? when I uh, I mean, when I copy paste just now, I also not copy paste the text. I also copy paste the uh, format of the, the sentences and also the words here. Uh, so as you can see here, what happened here is because now here, the answer for here, the, all these four, there are um, what I call it the spacing. Okay, spacing. Okay, it's very difficult. I'll show you how. Yeah? Okay, what, 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 what is the way to address that? Okay, usually... If I go back to my elan, okay, I just close preview dulu. I go back to edit. Yeah, I want to edit back the question. Okay, I use now edit question. Okay, okay, I go back to my question just now. Okay, original question. Okay, if I click see, if I click here, you cannot. You already noticed, right? The answer is is slightly lower, right? It should be like that, right? It should be like that. And so meaning that when I copy paste just now from here. Remember, I'm not just copying the text, I also copying the format in the PowerPoint into the eLearn. But the eLearn, uh, as far as my understanding, the eLearn will treat all the text as uh, text, yeah? as text without any formatting. But when you paste the answer just now, yeah, great me, uh, you're not only pasting the, the text grade, you're also pasting the spacing. Okay, how do I tell that? Okay, see, yeah, but, uh, if you move the cursor, right, so move down and up, you can see there is a space there, right? It shouldn't be like that. Yeah? Okay, so how to overcome this? Usually, what I will do is I will use Notepad. Okay, Notepad, yeah? Notepad. Okay, this one Notepad, right? The simple Notepad in our laptop, I'm not sure uh, kalau Apple ada ke tidak, eh? But the simple Notepad, eh? so what I'll do is, one I've copy-pasted here, yeah, I will... This is the long way, layer. I will select this, yeah. Select this answer again. Control A, yeah. Control A, yeah. Control A, maknanya uh, you select all, yeah. Select all, then you copy. Then I will go to the I do paste. Okay, you see how many spacing there? One, two, and three, right? So this extra spacing is not needed. So I will delete, delete. Now I'm sure I have only one line only. So I select this now, I copy this, I go back to Elan here, I control all again, yeah, I select all again, now I paste. So I'm replacing whatever, whatever inside the Elan here with the, uh, the, 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 the text inside the notepad. Uh, the notepad here, because it's only form, uh, only text only, right? So there'll be no more spacing. Okay, uh, so I will repeat the same process here, see? I don't want this kind of uh, answer. So I will, I will uh, select all, control A. I will uh, cut this, X, eh? control X. Then I copy paste here in the net. But you see the extra spacing, I don't want this. I delete this. Then I will uh, control A again in notepad, control C, copy. And then I go back to my Elan. Then I control A again, and then I paste. Uh, now I have yeah uh, the answer with just the text only without the formatting now okay and uh, then so also here the same uh, we don't want this okay so i 
Again, control A, select all, then I control X, I cut, I go back to my notepad. So I control A again, select all, then I paste into my notepad. I can see the spacing there. Yes, yes, okay. The tab yes, yes, that's right. You can you can you can we can do that. Sometimes the system uh still get confused, yeah. But it's okay. Uh, this one is is based on our own uh, nilai, yeah? uh, preference and also experience. Yeah? But if it, because I noticed some of us uh, we experience this, so this is one of the way, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yes. yeah, the idea, yeah. yeah. I, I had, recently, I have same problem. Yep. Yep. So I recognize when I copy from the Word or PowerPoint, yep. uh, I choose the space after. You know, there is one space after the Word. So yep. if you uh, just choose the uh, the word without the space, the, there is no. Uh, That's right. That's yeah, you know right. here, yeah, yeah. You have you yes. choose. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, choose the grape. Just okay. the grape. Okay. No. Now you can see you you choose a, a, another space. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. If, if you choose this one, yeah, there there is no format coming. Ah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, but but because like um, you you are right. Thank you, Doctor uh, Doctor Reza. Eh? Thank you. Yeah, okay. yeah, you are right. But, but but the thing is because like I mentioned to you just now, sometimes because uh, the word nowadays and the PowerPoint is so smart, uh, they put the formatting uh, so, so subtle, so we don't realize that. But then we, when we copy paste it to eLearn, if you see this kind of problem, uh, this is one of the way lah to solve the. Need. So it's kind of kind on of, it's a kind of long way. Uh, but I prefer this one because it's safer. But like Dr. Reza was saying just now, also correct. Yeah. Uh, what you can do also sometimes you can also remove. I can, I can remove all the formatting first in the eLearn. So I can remove uh, all these uh, bullet and so on. Yeah. And also all the spacing here. You can you can do that. Yeah? You can remove all the spacing, everything there. Yeah. And also you can uh, go to the uh, form uh, not here, but in the word you have the no format again and so on. So, so there are ways to overcome that. Eh? But let's say, but let's say, thank you, Dr. Reza. Eh? But let's yeah, say, okay. uh, if you see this kind of problem, yeah, uh, this kind of problem, right? Okay. Uh, so, so this is like, the one I'm showing you is one of the way, lah. Yeah. Uh, so what you can do is you want to remove the formatting. So this, the answer to this problem is because the formatting, because you not only copy the text, yeah, from the Microsoft or PowerPoint into the eLearn. But you're also copying the formatting. So you don't want the formatting. So if you remove the formatting, so my point here is if you remove the formatting, then you will have a nice uh, appearance like this. Okay, let's we test. Yeah? Okay, we already end. I already removed the formatting from the answers, right? Okay, make sure, double check again. Okay, 100% to the grape. Okay, the marks is not changed. All right, okay, then. So I click OK, save changes. Okay, now if you preview the question, okay, if you preview the question again, so will it will appear will it appear as this or becoming like this now? Yeah, all right. So we preview. Okay, now it's not. It becomes yeah like this now. No more this uh not so nice piece. Yeah, so it become nicer like this now. Okay, uh, see, is this one in the island? Okay. So what my point here is sometimes yeah sometimes yeah when you have this kind of problem, so it's not because of the uh, island yeah, issues. Yeah? Is because of the formatting, okay? So just remove the formatting, leave it as a text, uh, apa ni, uh, normal text, then you will have a nicer appearance like this, okay? All right, so, okay, thank you so much eh, on that, yeah, Dr. Reza, yeah? Okay, yeah, I cannot, okay, tapa, I, I just go on dulu, yeah? Okay, so go back to the uh, creating tadi, yeah? So I've shown you, uh, apa, creating the one correct answers, yeah, in the MCQ. Okay, now one best answers, yeah? Okay, one best answers. Best answers. Oh, this one I go. Okay. For the preview, uh, okay, because I already in the preview section, I jump here. Okay. You remember the question just now? Which one is the preview? So, you, what is the beautiful eh, uh, way of using uh, the preview? You can attempt the question. Okay. Make sure you check the mark is correct, one mark. So, you want to know whether you have already told the system, yeah? uh, told the system what is the correct answer. So, let's say I click dot. So I click submit. Yeah. Ah, then I say, oh, okay. No, but the system is telling me, oh, okay. Dog is not the correct answer. The correct answer is grape. So meaning that 
Uh, this is the, the important thing about previewing. Yeah? Previewing ni is not only to make sure you check everything yeah, uh, visibly, but also in terms of the function is correct. Okay, yeah? Visibly tadi make sure one mark uh, and then it appear nicer and also the sentences is correct. But the functional part is when you, when the student attempt nanti, yeah, when the student attempt, so make sure the system correcting the uh, attempt uh, ni lah, uh, in a proper way. So here, how do, how do you test the function? By submit, apa, by, by submit and finish. Yeah? Okay, tak apa, start again. Yeah? So when you preview the question, you want to attempt the question. Let's say I put now grid. Okay, so I submit and finish. Oh, okay, good. I got the green tick now. So maknanya, I have told the system, okay, this is the correct answer. And, and okay, the system got the information. Yeah, so that's... Mr. ID? Yes. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah. Also, we can try, you can also ask the system to fill the uh, correct answer before we trying. Uh, you know, after save, uh, start again, save, fill in correct response. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, instead of the trying, we can ask the fill the correct yes. answer. Yeah. That's right. That's right. But but you don't see the, the green tick, the, the end. Yeah. How about that? So that's why I, I, instead of using this function, I use, I prefer to use submit and finish. So because you submit and finish, you, you have this extra, right? Whether it's incorrect, kind of the red cross there. And also the correct answer. So I, I like that kind of feedback. So you are right. You are right. You can, if you want to check whether you are getting the telling the system, uh, this upper, you setting correctly everything. You can, yeah, you can just use the fill in correct response. Then you will straight away the system will tell you, oh, this is the correct answer. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's up to you. Yeah, the three time. But usually, preferably, uh, personally, I prefer this. Uh, I prefer the attempt. Oh, so submit and finish. Say, oh, lama, salah, kan? I've got the answer. So I, I'm getting two responses there, yeah? Okay, you are correct, Dr. Reza, yeah? Okay, in, in, what, okay, in this, in this window, if you want to see all this, yeah, correct answer is shown and also uh, whether the attempt correct or not. So if you scroll down here, make sure, yeah, uh, the display option here, make sure whether correct me, you make sure is, you, you have chosen shown. Kalau you not shown, then you will, the system will not show you the red, cross or the green tick just now okay that's why for me the two important things here make sure it's shown and also the right answer here is shown the rest to not shown not shown okay all right so this under the preview yeah okay so i need to speed up okay, after i finish this preview function okay i just can close the preview okay so i've created uh, one question it's two okay all right now i'm creating the second question now yeah okay uh, one best answer okay one best answer is basically the same question Okay, because the time is running out. Okay, what I will do is uh, I will okay, that's enough. Okay, so uh, because this question is basically the same as this question, except oh no, what about the negative marking? Yeah, okay, negative marking. Nih. Okay, if you want to do negative marking, okay, so I uh, will duplicate this question. I will create a new question, but by just duplicating the 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 first question tadi, yeah, just to, so now this one is become question number two. I just duplicate the first question just now. Eh? So, so that uh, the, the same question remain there about everything there. But now I'm trying to put, okay, let's say if the student get the correct answer, so you put 100% of one mark, right? But let's say if they put uh, negative uh, but incorrect answer, so you want to detect uh, a quarter of the mark. So a quarter of the mark is uh, minus 25%, right? Uh, so you choose here. So you put here minus 25%. 25% of what? 25% of one mark. So 0.25. Kalau you want to deduct 0.1 mark, so you choose minus 10%. Okay, so for all incorrect answers. So here also for Tiger, you also put uh, minus 10. So meaning that when the student choose Tiger, so they will have their mark deducted 10% of the one mark that is 0.1 mark. Uh, that's how you set up negative marking. Oh, sorry. This one should be negative 10. Okay, that's how you set negative marking. Yeah? So for any incorrect answers, you want the system to deduct 10% of the mark. In this case, 10, minus 10% of one mark, that is 0.1 mark. So if the student choose dog, they will be getting uh, minus 0.1. Okay? But if they chosen uh, grape, then they're getting one mark. Uh, that's how you set negative marking in the ELEN. Okay, very simple. Eh? So after that, so save changes. So now you have a uh, second question here. Okay, uh, this is the second question just now. How about exactly the same question? But what I've done, why well, is exactly the same question? Because I just duplicate this question. But then I change the setting of the question. Uh, this one now is D. 
negative marking. Okay, all right. Yeah. So again, if you want to preview, uh, the system will not tell you the mark. Uh, right. Okay. Try the yeah, review. Review this question. Yeah. Try to answer doc. Yeah. Then submit and finish. Okay. So here you say the response here is incorrect, but there is no. It's not shown. Uh, apa, zero point one mark deducted. No, it's not shown in the preview, but it will be shown in the uh, student grading. Yeah. So that's how you set the negative marking. Okay, what about this one? Uh, this question, okay, I'm creating a new question now uh, just to show you the single best answer. So basically the single best answer, the way to set up is similar just like just now. So in instead of you give 100% marks to the grade, now you also allocate 75% to rambutan, 50% to mata kucing, okay? So quickly, because this also MCQ, so I just duplicate the previous question just now. Okay, so now this one become uh, question uh, single best answer now. Eh? Single best answer number one, but it's question number three, right? On my paper, question bank. So can we show the following? Okay, so if I want to, okay, so I just take this one. Okay, so this one, just copy paste. Okay, uh, then, all right, then I just change the... So here, okay, grape, 100%, then here now become rambutan. Okay, so rambutan. I, I don't bother about the formatting, yeah? I will, I will. It's okay, yeah? just excuse any uh, not so good uh, appearance, yeah? because but if you want to remove the formatting, you you just do the, apa, the notepad, yeah? features option you just now, yeah? or maybe you can correct from the source itself, yeah? right, so mango. So, okay, these are all the uh, answers there. Okay, now, you are telling the system, okay, if the student select grape, they're getting 100% of one mark, rambutan 75% of one mark, so how, and uh, mata kuchi 50%. So how do you tell the system? So like you have uh, uh, used eh, with the negative marking is now, okay, rambutan how many percent? 75%. So now you change this to 75%. Okay, so now you're telling the system, Okay, if the student choose rambutan, they are getting 70% of one mark. That will be 0 0.75 mark. Okay? All right, that's how you tell the system, yeah? So, for mata kucing, 50%. So, you change to 50%. Okay, uh, then for mango, because there's no, okay, there's no negative marking, zero mark, so you change this to none. Okay. All right? So, that's how you set, uh, you save changes. That's how you set uh, this uh, one best answer, yeah? the Elan. So this is the question there, the green one. So maybe you want to preview quickly. Okay, uh, this one just nice. Yeah, uh, there's no issue of formatting there. That's good. Okay, then you cannot tell you cannot tell whether this one is uh, if you choose rambutan whether you are getting. Okay, but they, they still rambutan is part of the answers, right? So okay, how to say it like this? Okay, I show you. Eh? If I've chosen grape, grape, yeah, submit, I will get green tick and then correct meaning that i'm getting full mark yeah but if i choose rambutan yeah rambutan yeah rambutan yeah submit you see it's no more green tick but it's still a tick yeah but then you see it's written there partially correct uh, okay and what about uh mango because mango is not the answer right okay if i choose mango submit then you're getting red number up and incorrect uh that that's how the system that's why the preview is very important. Eh? So to make sure that you have set up the question correctly. Okay. All right. So I need to speed up. I'm so, so sorry about that. Okay. Then the kind of it must be said. Betul 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 betul. Okay. That's why I'm, I'm speeding me. Okay. So now uh, creating the true false. Okay. True false. Okay. Close preview. Okay. True false now. Okay. Because I cannot duplicate true false because true false is decent. Are all MCQs right? I cannot use the function duplicate anymore. So I have to create new question. Create and then go to true false. Click true false. True false is the easiest. Yeah, you can set up the question. Yeah, very easy. Okay, because it's number four. So uh, true false number one, right? So I put the uh, question number four. True false number one. So I know this will be question number four, but with true false number one. Okay. So I just go to question here. Very easy. Just copy the question there. Paste there. Okay. Make sure setting. Okay. Good. All right. Okay. Then. 
marks, make sure it's mark 0 0.5. Yeah? The default always one mark. Uh, don't get yourself. Okay, make sure you change this 0 0.5 mark. Okay, general feedback. Okay, just ignore. Okay, the answer is what? Answer, okay, here, answer is false. Right? Yeah? So it's already false there. So just leave it false. Then scroll all the way down. Uh, tagging me, if you want to tag, then you can put uh, true false. Yeah? Simple. Uh, true false ke ataupun small letter ke true false you just don't want to tag and uh, then you have the tagging already okay then you save changes now you don't want to tag pun just ignore the text okay so we have the question now that's the question true false there you see now question number four true false okay so again please preview uh, that's the question okay so uh, not yet answer smart is 0 0.5 okay that's correct okay then okay let's say you want to put you want to test right whether you're telling the system the correct answer or not so you click true Oh, okay, no. Uh, so I'm telling the system the correct answer because the correct answer is false, right? Uh, so I'm I'm okay now. Uh, okay, all right. So you're getting there, right? You're getting uh, correct uh, answers there. Okay. What about if I put correct answer? Hey, hey, hey submit, submit. The correct answer. Okay, so put false, submit. Okay, then it's written there correct here. Okay, all right. So that's how you create uh, true false, right? What about multiple true false? Okay, multiple true false. Eh? This question, yeah, with the gambar. Okay, this one because it's not sim uh, similar to true false here, so you have to create a new one. Okay, you scroll all the way down, so you have here and multiple true false here. So you choose this one, you click this one. Okay, click add. Okay, all right. So you name it. Okay, task title. Uh, okay. Oh, they, they changed the format now. Oh, okay, good. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, Okay, so now, uh, task title, general, lecturer, task title. Okay, here, uh, I put it as the question number five, multiple true, false, number one. Okay, apply values here. Oh, okay, all right. Then enter the stamp. Okay, here, the question here, I take this question. Okay. So I put it here, question, okay, true. So usually I will bold that, okay. Right, then, uh, no numbering, number of option, no numbering, okay, tak apa, no numbering. Uh, if you put, I can put there, not ABC, yeah. If you want, if I want to appear as ABC like this, I put there. Then the scoring method, okay, sub points, multiples, okay, multiple true, false, uh, shuffle, okay. This one uh, is written as sub points, okay. Tapi kalau you want to multiple, one true pun tak apa, tapi tak apa, we just leave it at default first. Okay, shuffle option is on there. Okay, then the judgment true false. Okay, judgment is only true or false, eh? So because this one multiple true false, right? So we just put true false, eh? Okay, then the option. Okay, question number one. So uh, option number one. So you just copy this one. It has four legs. Okay, so you remove the formatting. Okay, and it has four legs. Yes or no? Tiger, all right? Okay. Oh, before that, uh, okay, tak apa. I just put the answer. Okay, the answer is true. Okay, all right? Then... You go for the second one. Okay, it move. Okay, piece here. Okay, it move with all its leg. Okay, betul lah kan tiger kan? Okay, so true. Then you have uh, have this uh, C. Okay, dots and it has dots. Okay, false. Okay, you tak ada file. It has strut right. So it has two tails. Okay. Right, so it has two tails. Okay, so so false. So I already tell system the answers, right? Okay, then what about the feature? The the, the uh, this is a question, and also I want to have this yeah, uh, image. So here I can put the image here also uh, by using the insert insert image yeah? here. So use this this yeah, insert or edit image yeah? here. So I click this one, but before that, before that, this uh, okay you. Can you simply copy paste? Okay, we try. I copy this image. I paste here. Can I? Yes, you can see. Maybe some of you say, oh, I can copy paste, right? But okay, but for me, don't use copy paste function. Because copy paste ni, you will paste this in the clipboard. So nanti, uh, many times happen to me, when you use copy paste, simply when students open, open this question, yeah, then they will not see pictures. They will see broken icons. So for me, please do not simply copy paste. Okay, although it's appearing here now, but it will not definitely uh, appear in the exam, ataupun the quiz. 
So please follow this method. So what you to do is here first you have to uh, save this, eh? save this image below. Yeah, I think you know kind how to save the image. Eh? There are many ways. Eh? Yeah, but I already saved this into my desktop, yeah, this image. So I use this function. Okay, I go to browse. Okay, I browse. Okay, so this is my yeah, uh, file in my desktop. Yeah? So I just choose this, this, click open. Then I have already yeah, the file uploaded here on the server of the uh, Elon. Upload this. Okay, here. Okay, you can see and yeah, already appearing here. It's too big. 58 usually depends on you need 400. Okay, before you change here, make sure you have checked this auto size. Okay, this end. Okay, make sure you check yeah, auto size. Nampak tak? Kalau you tak check, nampak? So small there. So I want that to be. Uh, one because I already changed that one. Okay, I will repeat this one again. So yeah. Browse. Yeah, upload. Okay, uh, all right. Got all right here. Okay. So here again, yeah, before you want to change the size, make sure you have checked this box. Okay, so I put 400 usually, make it smaller. Okay, and then it's making smaller, right? Uh, this, okay, you have to check this button also. Okay, check this one. Okay, all right, uh, then you click save image. Uh, then you have the tiger appearing here. Okay, if you want to make left or right or whatever, uh, you can choose now. Yeah? Usually I put in the middle there. So I already have the, 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 the image there. Yeah, that's the, that's the question. That's the image, that's the answer, yeah? That's the question, that's the image, uh, that's the options. Okay, so let's see the product. Yeah, so you save changes. Okay, uh, then, okay, that's the, the, the product, okay? Um, but it's good to preview. We go to preview. Right, this is how the question will appear. Okay, all right, so, uh, because, okay, this is a new format, yeah? All right, that's good, okay, tapa. Okay, now, Make sure, yeah. So it move with all its legs. Uh, so if like, you try lah, preview lah. Uh, this one preview again, summer there. We try. So we submit and finish. Ah, uh, okay. So this answer is kind. The system is telling you. So you double check now whether whether the correct answer is there or not. Can the time is not okay. All right. That's how you preview the. Uh, that's how you create. Uh, you add multiple uh, true false eh, question in you to your question bank. Okay. But you, do you notice here that market the mark. Mark the, the mark is one, but actually the mark should be two, right? So I made a mistake there. So what should I do? Okay, tak apa, I close the preview. So here I go back to the question here, edit back the question. I edit the question. So what should I do? I go back to the uh, the, the the marks here, the maximum point. So make it two. Okay, two. So I save. Okay, and then I preview back, make sure everything is correct. Okay, now the answer, the mark is two now. Okay, all right. So I think you get the point, eh? Okay, already 11.33. So, uh, okay. Um, okay can, can I go on for another, uh, until 11.45, on Rosanna? Oh, boleh, boleh. Sorry, 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 yeah. Okay, so now I go into the essay. Okay, quickly into the essay. Okay, how to create essay? The essay, you create, you have to click. Okay, remember, yeah, all these questions now, if you notice, there are so many questions now already, right? Okay, there is no tagging here. You can see there is a tagging here. So if you want to tag here also, can you go back to the question? You go to edit question. Okay, uh, then you tag. Under the tagging too, you tag. You tag N. Okay, so you just put the name. This one is MTF, multiple true false. Yeah? Okay, then you have the tagging already there. And okay, then you save changes. Okay, why what is the important about this here? Yeah, tagging me. Kalau, let's say like you want to filter, right? Okay, now you have so many types of questionary MTF, OCA, OCA, right? So let's say you want to know uh, all of this question, how many question yang ataupun uh, just list the question for one correct answer. So you just click there. So the system will see uh, the system will choose only the OCA uh, that's I think that's the only use of this yeah, filtering system using the tag so that's why for me uh, I don't use it yeah so but if you want to explore uh, this how you use it yeah the tagging function so if you want to return back you just click this one yeah you turn off the uh, the filters then you have all the question in the category what category lecturer B here then if you notice now under this category in the bracket there are five now so it means that 
you know, five question already in this category. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, right? Okay, now we are adding essay. Okay, so before I go to into the essay, uh, right? If okay, so we have done that. We have covered that. All right. Uh, okay, so I talk about essay. All right. So for the sake of the essay question, eh, uh, I will now. Okay, I, I, I want to go back to my categories. Eh? Go back to my categories. Okay, so this is the how the category will look like now. Okay, so this the 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 lecture B yeah, category the the one that we have uh, been working just now. So now for essay question, I want to create into question two in the final exam category. Yeah, okay, I will create into new category now. So I want to create question two in final exam. Yeah. Okay. Question two. Maybe, maybe, no, no, I, I just, I go for, okay, I go for question one first. Yeah, but the reason like this, eh, usually for uh, this one, okay, this one already created question, so I delete this one first, eh. Okay, let's say, eh, let's say in the, in the category, there you already have question here, right? And then you don't want this question, so you can delete this question from this, eh. Uh, you just, yeah, when you open the categories, then you have question here. So you can, if you have, you want to select all, you just check this. Okay. Or if you want to individually check, so you check like this. Okay. So I, I don't want this question. So I want to do what, what should I do with this? We selected, delete. So I just click delete. Okay. I'm deleting two questions. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. So now in my question one, categories, final exam, there's no more question. So how, how do I sure, uh, how do I'm, I'm sure about that? Okay, here you see final exam question one now used to be two here right now in the bracket zero okay so the reason i deleted just now i i just want to copy paste all this yeah this one question one this one question two this one question three so i will transfer this question now individual question one two three into question one category question two category question three category yeah okay so i will transfer question one loop into question uh, one category okay so i click question one click new essay yeah, because it's essay, right? Click essay. Click add. Okay, yeah. Question one, click. Okay, got this one, right? So coding, yeah? Uh, for me, essay uh, 1A and 1B. So for me, I just put here 1A. Uh, because I already, because in final exam, usually I use this format, right? So I just put 1A. Yeah? So if you want to put essay, also can, yeah? Essay. Essay. Yeah, ah, okay. All right, one A essay. Okay, so I just copy this sentence only. Yeah, and then I paste here question text. Eh? Question text. That's it. Then I bold this one. Okay, okay, that's it. Okay, that's the, the, the question. Because if you notice here, right, this is a question, right? Um, and also the marks, six marks. So I put the question, copy paste the question, then the marks here. The default mark now is six. Okay, all right. Uh, that's under general section. Okay, done with that. Then the respond. Okay, the respond. Okay, because this essay, I want the student to answer as online text. Yeah, I don't want them to submit a file, any file. Okay, the, the way I design the question here, because there are many technical issues, right? If students have to upload files, uh, submit images, and so on. Yeah. So the way we design our final exam, eh, uh, student no need to insert anything, yeah, uh, no need to upload files and so on. They just use the online text saja. So I'm telling the system, okay, system, okay, make sure uh, this one you choose HTML editor. Okay, require the student to enter text, yes, and then okay, uh, how much, how much, the how big is the, uh, the the spacing for the student to submit the text? So this one six mark. So six mark usually for me one line one mark. So I maybe. Okay, I give them 10 lines. Okay, but it's okay. You give more point, it's okay. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's say we stick to 15. Yeah? Okay, allow attachment. No, I don't. I'm not allowing student to attach anything. So no. Okay, all right. So I just leave it there. Okay. Then okay, respond template. No need. Yeah. Uh, no and respond. Okay, grade information. Okay, no need. That's it. Okay. That's how you set essay question. Out of the five here, the most important thing is the general here. This is where you put your question name, 
you put the question text, you put the default mark, yeah, the mark here. Then for the response option, I make sure uh, in this case, I want them only to submit online text, no attachment, nothing whatsoever. So I, I don't allow them to submit uh, files. Yeah? So I put no. That's it. Okay. So I click save changes. Okay. So uh, this is the question. Why only one question? Because this one in new category. Okay. This one now in new category. Which category? Final exam question one. Okay. Right. Then okay, preview the question. Okay, so that's it. This is how the, the the question will look like when student uh, open this. So the um, the mark is zero. Uh, sorry, six. Uh, describe. Then the student will have to type here, lah. Okay. Uh, if you because okay, then you still see the features here. Yeah, you can submit and finish. But because the uh, this one for essay, you have to manually mark. So the system will not mark for you. So there is no kind of uh apa, mark correct answer incorrect. Yeah. Uh, so that's the thing lah about uh, essay, essay and short answers. You have to mark yeah, manually, yeah. Okay, so that's the first question. Then I want to create the second question here, right? This one, explain the microscopic, yeah, this question. So I just copy this one. And now the question is 1B. So what should I do? Okay, I can go to create to a new question, kan? Then I choose essay. But the quickest way is I just go to edit because this one, more or less, the format are similar. So I just duplicate the previous question. So I, I duplicate the previous question. And okay, now, uh, because this one is not answer, what, what is the answer number? A uh, question number? 1B, right? So I change it to 1B. Uh, now, it's not delete the copy. Okay, here, this is the question 1A, right? But I want to create, I already, I want to create question, uh, second question, explain the microstructure of the link. So I already, okay, I select this one, I copy this one. So I select this, then I paste. This is the question now. Explain the structure of the uh, of a sarcomere, right? This question now. So four marks. So you scroll, make sure you change four marks. Because six, this one belongs to the previous question. Now. So now the answer is four marks. Okay? So basically this one the same. That's why, that's why I love um, to use the duplicate function. I don't have to bother about this. Because for me, all question will be similar. So I just make sure the feature is similar. So that's why I use the duplicate function. So I go all the way down, save changes. So I have my second question. Okay, ah, that, that's my second question. So you preview. Okay, ah, then that, that's the question. Okay, four marks, all right? Okay, now quickly, uh, because time is running out. Okay, I will quickly do this question. Yeah, very fast, you just observe me. Yeah? Okay, so I want to create question 2A now. Okay, question 2A, because it's this one question one, right? So I want to put into question two now. Still under final exam. So now question two. Okay, question two. Alamak, I have to create a new one, right? Okay, but I don't want. I want to use the same feature as this. So what I do is I go back to question one just now. I duplicate this question one. Yeah, I duplicate this question one. Okay. But now this one is no more question 1B, right? This one is question 2A. Okay, 2A. All right, but this one, this question now, the newly duplicated question is under this category. I want to save in question two. So I uncheck this one. So I go to here, question two now. What I'm doing is I'm transferring this question now, yeah, the duplicated one into question two categories. So I go there. Yeah, make sure I've chosen the right category. And then I've, I've named the right question. Yeah, question 2A. Then I go here. I select this, copy this. Okay, then I paste here. Uh, that will be my question 2A now, right? Okay, uh, so make sure the mark is okay. Four marks, all right, four marks. Okay, then that's it. This one's similar, no need to change. I go straight to save changes. Okay. Then I have my question in which category? Question two. Okay. All right. So now I want to create this question. Question B. Okay. I go here, copy. Okay. Because this one question two A, right? Under question two. So I don't have to change the category now. I just go here, duplicate question two A. Okay. Uh, this one now change to question two B. Because this question is two B, right? Okay. So Delete the copy. 
Okay, here I select all this, delete, then I paste the question here. Discuss the regulation, right? Six marks. Okay, make sure I change these six marks. That's it. The rest here similar. So I go down, save changes. That's very quick. That's why I'm telling you. Yeah? If you get the, you understand the system is very quick. Okay. So now I have this question. Preview the question. Okay, yeah, this is the question look like. That's the six marks. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, close preview. Okay, what about this question base? Yeah? Uh, case based. Yeah, okay, this one will be question number three. So I will go now under question number three. Okay, question number three. Okay, here I can also duplicate the, the question 2A, 2B just now, but I don't want to do that. I will create as a fresh question. Again, similar essay, add question. Yeah, this one question three under category three. Okay, this one is question 3A. Yeah, 3A, because I want to I want to copy this case and but the question will be this. Okay, in your opinion. Okay. So I copy this question. Okay, this one, I name it essay. Okay, question 3A. But what about the case? Right, the case. Okay, this this is the ni, the part. Okay, I will copy this as yeah, case. I put it up here. Uh, this one, the case base, eh? question usually, yeah, uh, we find it, eh? my, my click and I find that uh, it's, it's, it's easy to have uh, this. Eh? Okay, that's why I just, um, it seems that the system, you know, yeah, I repeat back. Yeah, I go back to, I copy first this, yeah? the, the instruction and the case, like this, right? Answer the following question based on the case. Okay, maybe you want to highlight this, okay? Uh, this is the case, right? Okay, then now, for question 3A, ni, so I put here again, I type 3 I put question. Okay, question 3A. Because sometimes yeah, students, yeah, uh, they, they don't see. Uh, apa, yeah? So I put question 3A. Then I, I will bold this. And then the question, I this one, I go to here. Copy this one. Okay. All right. Then I paste. Uh, that will be my, my, my that's how I create, yeah? Uh, question. Then I give some spacing lah, spacing. So they know that. Okay, this is the case. Uh, this is the question. Okay, that's how I create uh, ni lah, essay question yeah, for ni. Okay, then okay marks. How many? How much? How many marks? Four. Okay, make sure you change to four. Okay, because this uh, new setup kan. I need to check this one again. No attachment. All right. Okay, good. Then I go down. Okay, uh, then that's the question. Uh, you see, that's the case. Okay, preview. Okay, that's the case. That's the question. That's how, for me, lah, my suggestion, if you want to create a case-based essay question or short answers, like this. Lah, yeah? uh, but this only question 3A, right? What about question 3B? Okay, so we duplicate. We duplicate this question. Yeah, This question with the case because I want the case to remain there. Okay, uh, so now this one become PB. So I delete this. Okay, I want the case to remain. Yeah, to remain. So I just got, just copy the question. Okay, uh, then change, this one change to 3B also. Okay, All right, then what is the mark now? Six, okay, change the six. Yeah, okay, this one, the rest, summer. 15 line, make sure it's enough. All right, then you go to save changes. Yes, the duplication minor are very high. Yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that the uh, Razib memang very handy. I've been using this uh, many times. Yeah, it saved me a lot. But make sure, make sure be very careful. The format is more or less similar. Uh, yeah, and and also be very careful with the mark. Sometimes when you duplicate, like just now, right? The essay, right? The essay here got four marks here, six marks, right? Sometimes I forgot to change. And when I duplicate this question, I forgot to change. Uh, when I duplicated uh, this question into 3B, I forgot to change the mark from 4 to 6. Uh, tapi don't worry. That one you can change even during the grading. Yeah? Alright. Okay, that's how I change uh, my essay question. Uh. So what is the latest one? Okay, this is the latest. Yeah? Uh, the last question here. Okay, will be preview. Uh, that's how the question will look like. You see? Uh, Pak Ali, the case remain there. But the question is the new question, question B. Uh, that's my suggestion. Uh. If you have case base, because sometimes can when you um, nanti you want you don't want the question appearing without the case, right? 
Uh, so you you meaning that when you set up this question, make sure you copy also the case into each of the individual question. Meaning that, meaning that here, see, can uh, this question, question 3A, the case is there. The instruction is there. And question 3B, the case and the question is also there. Uh, that's this this my suggestion. Eh? Okay, so uh, actually we have finished the essay already 11.50. Okay, uh, all right. So these are the, I know some of you, <laughs> so sorry about my time management. Uh, okay, I'm already way out. Okay, I already covered this one. Okay, uh, actually I, so sorry, yeah, organizer. Uh, I just add this, I just finished this part only. Okay, I know some of you, maybe some of you, if you have any other thing. Uh, but uh, uh, for Zana, can I, uh, can we limit the word count in answers? Yes. Okay, all right. Just double check. Yeah, in the answers, uh, okay, edit question back. Uh, no. Uh, Dr. Siapa ni, Dr. Tanya? Uh, Dr. Tang, eh? Okay, Dr. Tang. Uh, for me, lah, kalau the essay ni, you cannot. You cannot limit. But in the assignment, online text, you can limit. Okay, you can limit maybe 500. Ke. But for essay so far, uh, there is no option here. Yeah? You can only limit by the line saja. So if you put five lines, many students only have up to five lines only. Okay, uh, so I think that's one way uh, to limit the answers. But for me, because I usually I don't limit, uh, yeah, I give them some space. Uh, for me, my, my uh, usually my uh, uh, rule of thumb, uh, one mark, one line. So for example, if the, my question have six marks, I should have put six lines. Uh, but I don't want to bother uh, with the technical issues nanti so i just put extra lah 59 is in the, is good but if your answer is uh, 20 marks so my suggestion uh, you don't put 20 marks here uh, 20 lines here maybe you give 35 ke. it's okay you give uh, better you give more than not enough for the students yeah okay all right okay so this uh, essay yeah okay maybe uh this one essay without submission of any files what about if you allow student to submit uh, attachment okay so attachment for essay question, so simple je. So instead of no here, so you change here. You, 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 okay, uh, allow how many attachment? Maybe one. When you put allow attachment here, meaning that student can submit one file. Okay, one file only. If they have two files, then the system will not allow them. So be careful when you design the question. And then if, let's say you allow the student to submit as one attachment, then you can decide in what format. Okay, okay, here. Uh, okay, attachment is okay. Tak apa. Allow attachment. Okay. Uh, this one, the requirement attachment, uh, this one you give option. If the student wants to attach, okay, you fine, you have. Kalau, kalau uh, require attachment, if you limit to one, uh, then you put as one only. Okay. So the option is uh, required for this one to be because, uh, okay. Meaning here, uh, this is very careful. Eh? If you put one requirement here, and if the student didn't submit anything, eh, did not submit anything, then you, meaning that, okay, based on the need, uh you cannot imananya uh apa ni the rest the answer cannot be uh cannot be uh graded uh, so be careful of that yeah that's why for me require attachment don't do ni lah yeah you just leave it as attachment are optional so you control a lot only by this option yeah okay you allow let's say you allow student to submit two files per, per question yeah per question not per exam per question uh, so you put two if you put one uh, you put one like my case, I don't want, I don't want my student to, apa? my student to, uh, my student to uh, submit files because the technical issues, eh? so you can teach student complain. Uh, doctor, my internet is slow, I cannot upload more files. And then, then from our two semesters experience, so my team, we decided, okay lah, when we design the exam question, no attachment, uh, no uploading figures, no nothing, nothing such. Because that will contribute to technical issues by the students. So, just starting from last semester, we design our quest final exam. They the student just use uh, online text only, uh, so they put whatever answers they are thinking, their thoughts in the form of text. Eh? Okay, so but I, I noticed some of you maybe you, you require student to submit uh, figures, right? So figures uh, like I've shown you, uh, they can still submit figures by using this function. Sorry, uh, here, yeah. When they submit, nanti they can use. Also, student can see yeah these uh, icons. So they can submit using this image. Uh, but you have to describe to them lah. 
uh, when they want to submit image, don't copy paste that I mentioned to you just now. So they have to use, uh, you have, they have to save uh, the file as an image file, then they have to use this, they upload to, uh, to the cloud and then insert. Uh, that's a bit tedious now, that's why my team, uh, we don't ask students to upload any figures yeah? because again, technical issues, all right? Uh, so that's the safe, lah. for me, the safest method, okay? All right, but go back here. If you allow attachment here, uh, one, but usually for me, I don't allow, lah, no, yeah? online text only. But let's say you want, you allow students to submit, let's say one, so you can dictate what type of files. Let's say you want them to submit in PDF only. Uh, so you choose, yeah, you choose, uh, then you click PDF, lah, file, yeah? file. Uh, document file here so there, there are so many files up here but i want pdf so pdf is here so you click document yeah document uh, so i dictate system only accept pdf other than pdf don't accept yeah so i've telling the system to do that so i go all the way down here there are so many type files you can choose you can play around save changes okay now system we allow only one attachment what type of files pdf only uh, that's how you tell the system okay all right then you can save changes so now this, the the question now change yeah this question now change okay uh, here you cannot you cannot see lah, yeah? uh, tapi you see when you preview again uh, because now you allow file attachment uh, so this feature now uh, appear okay uh, so now student can uh, they can drag drop the file yeah, I'm not sure whether our exam online allows this or not, but uh, let's say, I, but I believe uh, the exam online allow we to drag drop yeah, files yeah, uh, into into uh, into the nila. If not one drag drop, then they can go for files. Yeah, then they can. Uh, apa, uh, exam okay. online tak boleh drag and drop kot sebab oh, boleh, dia okay. ada proctoring tu kan. Jadi dia dia tak boleh buka any other browser yang lain. Okay, tapi uh, then so dia, dia boleh upload dia ya? Boleh, yes, boleh upload boleh. Okay. Drag and drop tak boleh. Okay, alright. Thank you, Rosana. Okay, okay. Eh? so okay, so kalau in the, you have to tell the student, use this eh? files, then nanti uh, this file, eh? uh, click there, then uh, that's why, that's why it's a bit tedious, yeah? uh, because that's why when you design the question, eh? uh, sometimes kan, when we design the question, we don't think, we don't think the process uh, experienced by the students now. So that's why uh, if you want, you still want student to submit attachment, uh, then you have to explain this to the student. Uh, yeah, maybe you have to create short videos, put in the e-learn, explain to them. Uh, this is how you uh, put put up attachment. Uh, yeah. So it's a bit tedious, but it's up to you. If you still want to design a question with attachment uh, submitted by the student, uh, then you have this is the only way. Then you have to tell the student the exact process because you don't want the student to get zero mark because of the technical issues, which is not fair to the student. And that's why my team, we decided okay, lah, to make things easy for the student because you don't want to make English. When we design the question, final exam question, no mark, uh, no picture upload, no file attachment, everything online text. Uh, we have worked that for the last two semesters and it worked well so far. Uh, no technical glitch last semester. Okay, uh, that's my uh, our, you know, our experience. Yeah? So I'm suggesting that also. Okay, all right. So basically, uh, I've done that part, yeah? Uh, essays. Uh, 11.58, uh, sorry. Uh, can I quick continue a uh, few few more ni? Puan Zana? Uh, okay, macam uh, ni. Uh, untuk participant, uh, okay ko? Uh, okay, macam ni. Uh, I'm giving this option. I'm okay to continue. Uh, any participants that have uh, other things you can leave because we have recorded, uh, recording, uh, we have we recording this kan Puan Zana? Ha, kita record dan akan upload Tapi dia orang kena sahkan kehadiran dulu Uzzah belum Selalunya kita bagi so Okay alright okay. So, so macam mana Puan Razana nak ni ke Okay ada meeting pukul 12 Okay alright So mungkin Puan Razana bagi ni dulu kot Bagi ni ke Bagi kehadiran uh, dulu Boleh tak uh, Okay yeah, Because I think they already fulfill the 2 hours kan Boleh ke Puan Razana Okay. Yeah, yeah, saya akan copy link to the chat box. Okay, yeah. Uh, for example, we copy the attendance link, yeah. Uh, so those who wants to leave, make sure you fill up, yeah, the attendance, yeah. But who wants to say, I will continue this because of the recording, yeah. Uh, but it will not be long. I will be very fast, yeah. Okay. All right. So we actually we have done up to uh, CA only, yeah, the green. Okay. Now creating the quiz. Creating the quiz is very easy, yeah, very quick. 
Okay. So, right, again, eh? quick recap. Eh? So, uh, under the chachak ni, so we have only done the CA and the CA. Eh? You create the categories in the question bank. I already talked about that just now. And then uh, we add question yeah, into the newly created categories. So, that's why now if I go to my categories now, Okay, uh, can go back to my categories. Okay, these are the categories we created just now. Uh, these are the question you see under question one category, question two, question three. You can see two question there, each two question there, each, because why one A, one B, two A, two B, three A, three B just now, right? In the final exam for uh, categories. And under the lecture B just now, we have created five. Okay, this one, uh, just ignore this one because this one I created before the webinar. Okay, but the one we created in the webinar is uh, under lecture B, yeah, five. Okay, so that we have done that. We have created categories. Yeah, we have done the C. We have add question. So we have add question, five question to category B, uh, six question to question one, two, and three categories. Okay, we have done the first CA. Now create the quiz. Okay, so create the quiz. You have to get out from the question bank. Go back to your uh, course. Okay, go back to your course. And okay, now, okay, uh, this is where you create the quiz. Yeah, uh, why this is important. Okay, uh, this is where you create the quiz, you set the duration, times, nothing to do. When under C, ni, under the C, yeah, create the quiz, in, you don't add the question yet. Nothing about adding question from the question bank. Okay, all right, thank you, yeah, Dr. Uh, those who, yeah, participants who have to leave, so sorry about this. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, please watch the recording. Nanti, yeah. Okay, because uh, to get the full chat up yeah, uh, process. Yeah. Okay, so now uh, under creating categories, ni, so it's nothing to do about adding question yet, yeah? So you just create the quiz, the front page of the quiz only, yeah? So, uh, okay, so I go to the Elan, okay, go to the Elan. Mm, okay, because for the training, I've created a section, I call it topic 35, okay? All right, okay, this is the, okay, this the section eh, in our Elan. Okay, let's say uh, I've hidden it from my student because this uh, page is active, eh? I don't want my student to get confused. Okay, so then, uh, okay, you turn on your, make sure when you want to create the quiz, ni, yeah, turn edit, edition on, uh, editing, apa, uh, edit, edit, editing on, eh? okay. All right, then you start to see this, the topic. Okay, let's say uh, to make it more real, I change it to webinar. Okay, enter. So now I change the topic now to webinar. Okay, now, okay, this is the test I already created earlier, so I, I don't want that. So to prevent confusion, I delete this. Okay, now I'll start fresh. So, Let's say this is a section of your e-learn, right? Okay, let's say uh, this one webinar. I want to create a quiz, yeah? online quiz, a test. I call it test one, yeah? Okay, remember just now uh, when we look at this diagram? Okay, uh, this one, yeah? Okay, we have done this. We have in our question bank, we have created we have created uh, categories, yeah? We have created question into the categories. Now we are creating this now. I'm creating quiz one now. But without without the question yet, yeah. So that's the step now. Okay. Okay. So in the inland, okay. Make sure you you choose this, add an activity. Okay. Then under activity resources, ni, make sure you choose yeah. Tap activities. Click online. Ah, uh, quiz. Yeah, this one quiz. Click quiz. Okay, quiz. Yeah. There's no final exam. Yeah, only quiz. Yeah. Then you name this. Okay, because this one is test one, so I naming as test one. Okay, in this in this uh, create a quiz, I will create a test and also a final exam. Eh? I will show you. Yeah, so now I'm creating test. Look, the okay, description, no need. Okay, timing. Remember, yeah. Okay. Although this is very quick, tapi there are so many information you have to fill up. Eh, tapi very easy. Okay, we go to the first one, general. General, you put the name test one. Okay, that's it. Just the name. Okay, timing. Okay, let's say I want to give uh, when is the quiz. Let's say this quiz this afternoon, yeah, from three. Uh, this a uh, one hour quiz. Okay, it's a one hour quiz, one hour test. Okay, uh, so usually one hour, ni, I want to conduct it from. Uh, usually I give uh, two to four. I'll give two hours uh, for the student, uh, the duration to attempt. ID. Yes, yes. ID. Kita, yes. I rasa uh, urus dia kena papa QR code dulu because link yang dia bagi tu kosong, tak ada apa. So, bila you click, dia kata kehadiran telah catat but survey tak boleh yeah, buat. Ya, yeah. ya. Doktor, doktor so, kena so, refresh ini, dulu. Ini QR code tu dulu. Tak, tak, uh, tak, tak. Tak perlu QR code. Doktor kena refresh. Refresh uh, my CPD site tu. Nanti dia akan ada e-survey tu. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. 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 refresh ya. Yeah. Alright, okay. Thank you. 
Okay, that that's the thing. Yeah, sometimes the technical issues can. Uh, <laughs> tapi tak apa. Good, we have Ponzana here. Okay, Ponzana said just refresh uh, the apa? My CPD yeah, apa uh, Ponzana? Yeah, yeah, My CPD uh, portal. Uh. Okay, okay, betul lah. Ada ada respon ni. Okay, lepas refresh keluar dah. Okay, good. Thank you, Dr. Jari. Alright. Okay. Okay, go back to the quiz tadi. The quiz ni I want to set for one hour, meaning that when students start attempt, they one hour begin. But the student can do uh, within, uh, they can choose to start within two hours period. Okay, let's say uh, I want to give them between 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. today. Yeah, uh, so uh, I'm telling the system that. Yeah, but once the students start, uh, start they have only one hour je, cannot be more. Okay, that's the information I'm trying to tell the student and also the system. So 2, 2 p.m. Okay, today, okay, make sure this one is inactive, right? So make sure you check this one first. You enable this. So now become uh, no more grayish. So today is 13 July. Okay, so time, okay, from 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock is 14. Uh, make sure 0, 0 uh, until uh, 4 o'clock. Uh, 16, 0, 0. Okay. All right. So now I'm telling system. Okay, now system. Okay, within this 2 to 4, please allow the student to take this one hour test. But I just tell the system this only at the moment. So what about this one hour? Okay, one hour will go here. Okay, time limit is 60 minutes. Okay, you enable this one, 60 minutes. Okay, so now I'm telling the system, system, please open this quiz from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. today, but the student only have one hour to attempt. Uh, so if the student start at 2.30, then by 3.30, my name finish lah. But if the student start at 3 o'clock, they have until 4. If the student start at 3.30, then they by the time 4 o'clock, the system will close the quiz. Uh, so that's very important. Yeah? You have to tell the student, although I'm giving you one hour, but the availability of the test only between 2 to 4. If you start at 3.45, you only have 15 minutes to answer. Uh, okay, uh, that's, that, that's what the student have to understand. Okay, so what happened after the 60 minute expired? So usually there are a few options here. Usually I will choose this a grace period. Okay, what is the difference between these three? Yeah, one opens uh one op okay open attempt submitted. Okay, I've, after finish sixty minutes, it will submit it automatically. Like you are you are eating and you are having your pizza, for example. Suddenly up sixty minutes, then waiter will come just collect everything. Yeah, all the plates on your table without you telling this. Okay, waiter, I'm finished. You know, there is no signal. The system will poop, close the quiz. Then submitted for the student automatically. So usually, uh, I believe the student will be shocked, lah. Yeah? So that's why I I am a bit pity to my student. So I don't want the system to do that. Okay. Then here is more brutal. Here before you finish eating, the waiter will come and collect. Ah, this is the most brutal, lah. Then what, what, what I'm trying to say eh, in the quiz, before sixty minutes, eh, the student must submit, or they are not counted. Oh, mananya so pressure, lah. I don't want to pressure my student also. So I will not choose option one and option two. So that's why I always choose option number three. There is a grace period. Uh, grace period ni, imagine eh. Okay, student, time's up. Okay, please put down your pencil. Okay, submit now. Uh, that's the kind of environment you are telling the student. The system will tell you. Okay, student, uh, time's up. 60 minutes up. But you have some grace period to do. So how long the grace period? Usually I will give uh, 61 seconds. Okay, don't ask me. Yeah, maybe some of you say, "Wait, why sixty sec? Why not sixty second? Why sixty one second? Ah, uh, what? Because because try to put sixty second. Uh, what the system will tell you? Ah, uh, the system will tell you uh, minimum is more than one minute. Uh, so that's why usually I put sixty one second. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's how I tell the system for timing. Okay. Are you okay with this? Yeah. Okay. This is where you tell the system. Okay. What is the scenario? Uh, I want to conduct the quiz at uh, the test from two to four, one hour. Then after one hour up, I'm giving one minute for the student to, okay, belek, belek, belek lah, feel, feel good, or, okay, I've done this, alamak, I cannot do five questions, and then they voluntarily, they submit, yeah. Uh, so that's, I'm trying, trying to have this, telling the system, system, please have this kind of setup. Uh, that's how I set up the system, okay. All right, that's the timing. Okay, then the grade, because this one test, one attempt. So make sure, ah, uh, please. Don't leave this unlimited. Unlimited, ne, after students submit, they, then they can attempt second, time, third, fourth, fifth. I don't want that. Because this test only once, yeah? So I put it as one only. One attempt allowed. Okay? Uh, don't, don't forget about that. If you leave it unlimited, students can attempt many times. Okay? Then you get yourself, Nati, yeah? Headache. So make sure you choose one. 
but sometimes if you want uh, you give more than once then how many times okay maybe you choose uh, two two times right okay you allow the student to attempt first and then second attempt and then when you have more than one then you have to tell the system what is the marks okay you, you can choose whether you want to highest of the two yeah or average of the two or first attempt or last attempt uh, up to you okay Usually for me, kalau for uh, practice, yeah, latte to be one, I will give them student maybe three times, then I take the highest grade. Uh, but for test, because it's a formative assessment, eh, sorry, summative assessment, usually I give only once. So bila you choose one, then uh, by default, the system will only take the marks for that one. Okay? All right. So then the layout. The layout. Okay. If you look at the question nanti, you want the question when you open uh, like the quiz, right? The test paper, how many questions per page? Okay, here, uh, you put here, you put all questions on one page. Okay, I don't recommend this, yeah, because in online, uh, I, again, uh, I'm not saying not good about our student. But kalau online, eh, we put all questions. If you have 10 questions, you will see all questions uh, together. So easier for them, katalah, our students sometimes also, they be naughty, kan? Yeah? They, maybe they want to discuss, kapa, I don't know. Maybe we just uh, try to prevent that. So I will not recommend to put all questions on page. Usually I will put, Every two question. So meaning that if I have ten question, ah uh, yeah okay, Doctor Sharon, yes, I have to want attempt. Ah uh, yeah, betul. They, they ask them to uh, go back, uh, login back, go in because uh, the Elan they they save it in the uh, the cloud, so the, all the attempts will be safe. Yeah. Uh, so usually, uh, if student come in, they still have the answer safe. Whatever their previous attempt to will be saved by the system. Uh, then for my experience with my student, they, they do have this kind of problem. They, they just carry on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's where under the grading nanti, yeah, we come in. Yeah. Okay, Dr. Sharon, yeah? uh, only one attempt. Okay, yeah? okay, try ask the student. Yeah? Uh, usually, no issues of that. Yeah? Okay. All right, so go back to the layout tadi. Okay, new page, every two questions. Okay, question behavior. Okay, this is also important. Make sure if you want to shuffle within the question, uh, then you choose yes. Shuffle within the question means that if you have one MCQ, uh, four option, right? Uh, so you want to shuffle, then you shuffle. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Shuffle within the question. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. This shuffling, shuffling is not within the uh, within individual question. It's between. Katala, you have ten questions. You shuffle those ten questions. Uh, that's what it means here. Yeah? Sorry, I. I, I, I said uh, incorrect information just now. So this one shuffle. Okay. That's why for me, okay, because we are setting test, right? Test ni, I, I'm okay. I want to shuffle all the questions. So I will choose yes. But when we create the final exam nanti, I don't want to shuffle that. That one, I will put no. Uh, tapi tak apa. For the test ni, I put shuffle first. Eh? Okay. All right. Different feedback. Okay. Different feedback. Uh, usually, uh, I just put you different feedback. The rest, you don't change. Yeah. If, but if you want to know more, then you click uh, question mark, then we'll explain uh, what are the different types here. But for the sake of our webinar today, just stick to different feedback. Yeah? Okay, review option. Okay, this is the how the student will get the information from the attempts. Okay, immediately after they finish, let's say they submit, uh, whether you want them to, let's say I have 10 questions, they can see, they can get that question together with the attempt, correct? Whether it's correct, whether it's smart or not. Uh, do you want to expose all this uh, up to you okay but i do i do not want usually for the test uh, i will uncheck all this yeah even all this yeah even later and even after the quiz close meaning after four o'clock the quiz close right and uh, i will un all uncheck this because why because for tests uh sometimes can you have to double check the marks first right uh, so uh but if you are comfortable with that uh, then you can put marks lah. marks meaning that the student after they submit immediately they will get the marks oh okay well done you get 70 percent uh, yeah uh, so uh, up to you but usually for test i will not share the marks i will uh double check the marks then i will do analysis to know uh make sure double check using my excel i download the excel then i i upload as an excel file yeah uh, auto pdf file okay all right so that's the review option appearance not important uh, save as in browser pun also uh, i don't want to touch this because uh it's a bit uh because if you choose this then uh you have some step to explain the student but for the final exam using the exam online uh, this has been the default one so you don't have to worry okay for our final exam 
we are using safe as a browser ni. Okay. Alright. Okay, then extra restriction. Okay, extra restriction here. Uh, let's say if you want to put password. Okay, sometimes kan, after you have, uh, you don't want to make mistakes. Sometimes kan, you forget to uh, disallow, eh, uh, disable the availability of the quiz yeah, to the student. And uh, then they can still access the question, right? You don't want that. So usually as a default, eh, I will always put a password. So password, let's say, just a simple password yeah, Because the password ni, if the student still can access, then when they click, the, the password will be required. Uh, that's my second line security. Yeah? So just maybe I put just pisang or banana. Lah. Put just banana. Okay. And uh, then you press enter. Press enter. Yeah? Press enter to save. Don't click outside. You click outside, it's not safe. Yeah? Okay, you press enter. Yeah? Press enter. It's safe. Yeah? Okay. Then browser security. Uh, this one, another one. I will put, put uh, full screen pop up. Nih. Uh, this one, I recommend you to do this. So meaning to say, when you have this feature on, when student click attempt quiz, then uh, a new window will pop up. Uh, then you ask the student to close the original browser. But in our exam online, this has been done where because of the safe exam browser. Ni. Uh, safe, exam, safe exam browser ni, uh, ataupun e-pretoring tu is higher level of security. Eh? But I'm, I'm talking about the setup in the e-learn. Eh? Uh, so because in the e-learn, we are using this for our test, right? Uh, so we have we still have some kind of second level uh, security measures also. Uh, so one of those is ni lah, yeah, the browser security ni. Yeah. Okay, then our feedback, I don't give feedback. Yeah, just you know, uh, I will not touch this. This one also not touch. Okay, just last part here. Okay, restrict, restrict access ni. Okay, tak apa lah, restrict access ni, I just leave it there first. Okay, all right, the rest are okay. The rest you don't have to touch. Okay, so go back to here. Okay, remember, yeah, where are we? We are still here at the create a quiz. Yeah, it's, it looks complicated, but but because of the many steps, but it's quite easy. Yeah, so how to create a quiz study? Uh, here. Okay, all right. So under general, you name the test. Okay, description is uh, no more relevant, so I just delete. Okay, uh, then uh, for the timing, you set the date. Yeah, the availability two hours, two to four. Uh, how long? One hour. Any grace period, yes, 61 seconds for student to feel good and submit. And then uh, the grade, okay, only one attempts. Okay, layout, uh, every two question. Okay. Uh, and then uh, question behavior, uh, okay, shuffle. And deferred feedback, chosen. Uh, review option, I will uncheck all. Okay. Then appearance, no need. Safe as in browsers, no need. Extra restriction. Uh, this one just for your own security je. I put a uh, password. Tapi remember, you have to remove this password nanti ya. Eh? Bila uh, you want to make the test available. Yeah? Uh, ataupun you can tell the student the password. Tapi before, usually, I will remove the password after, uh, before the student uh, attempt the ni lah ya. Eh? Just before the test start ya. Eh? Maybe the test at 2 p.m. I remove the password around 1.50, 1 1.50 around that time ya. Eh? But after four o'clock, uh, then I put back the password. Okay. All right. Then I put up the browser security. The rest ni tak apa. No need. Then you click save and return to course. Okay. Standard matching MCQ in LNA. Okay. Uh, Dr. Zainuddin, um, this one, uh, I, I, I'm not sure about the standard matching MCQ format, Dr. Zainuddin. I can explore on that, uh, but not uh, at the moment. Yeah? Uh, because like I told you, I don't use all the uh, the different types of the question. Yeah? It might be there. Uh, maybe I can explore on that and then I will uh, let you know, yeah? Dr. Zainuddin, later, yeah? Okay. All right. Okay, now, okay, where, where is the quiz study? Eh, sorry, the test. Uh, okay, lah, in e-learn, it's called quiz. But but I name it as test one, yeah, for my student. Uh, so this, this that's the test now, okay? Okay, let's click on the test. Okay. Yeah? So, okay. Uh, this one, the test. Uh, issues can be made as a get more. How do you prevent this? Uh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, okay. I will I will tell this. Yeah, the internet lagging nanti and the grading too. I will give you some tips on that. Yeah, uh, although it's not workable one hundred percent, but uh, we have used that for the two semesters and it seems works lah. Student, we 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 want. Okay, for example, the final exam. Yeah, because I'm referring to a question. Yeah, All right. Uh, for example, the final exam is two hours. Okay, although the unit exam give the student extra forty five minutes, right? By default, right? So, maknanya for two hours exam, uh, then the uh, duration will be, uh, availability time will be uh, two hours, 45 minutes, right? But we make it clear, 
to our student. Okay, you only allow for two hours. After two hours, you have to submit. So how do we monitor that? Uh, in the grading nanti. In the grading section, the last chachak note, I will show you how we can monitor from the last live log activity. And let's say, let's say if students have any problem, technical issues, assessing problem, eh, they have to communicate with us using the WhatsApp. So we will take the time they communicate with us. Then I will go into the log activity. I will straight away look into the personal, apa, the, the individual student. Yeah, uh, that's how nanti, uh, uh, I will try to talk about that in the grading, dear Dr. Uh, Aniza, yeah? So there are some ways, but where will it work 100%? I, I cannot tell, but we so far we have tried and we are happy with that, lah, yeah? All right, okay, now go back to the, yeah, the, the name. Okay. So where are we now? So we have done, yeah? we have done up to uh, three now, create a quiz. But before we move on into the add question, yeah? It's good, yeah. It's good for for us to check the information. Okay, this is the test. How many attempts allowed? One. Okay, will not available until what? Until two p.m. today and and close at four. You have to double check this. Sometimes, guys, you have your date correct, uh, incorrect. Sometimes you put two a.m. morning, yeah. Then still we say, doctor, uh, we are sleeping, yeah, uh, at two morning. Uh, so sometimes, yeah, because yeah, like, all these technicals, yeah. So you have to always double check and then. Okay, this attempt, you need to know the about that quiz password. Because why? Because I put the password banana just now. So it's good if you remove, yeah? Okay, then time limit, one hour. All right, that's the information, okay? Usually, this information, I will select this. I copy this, yeah? Copy this. I will copy this. Then I will go back to edit setting here yeah? of the quiz, yeah? Because now in the test, right? Please, yeah? So I will paste this information in the description here. Ah, I mean. Okay, the description here. So, uh, but I will remove this now because this one on it end. Okay, yeah. Then I check this one display. And this one for the step number here, still step number here under create a quiz here. Uh, I'm using this function here. Yeah, to edit the setting of the quiz, uh, when you click the cogwheel here of the quiz, uh, the quiz, eh, you use this function. Don't use this. Uh, so that, 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 this is different. Eh? You use this edit setting. Edit quiz, this one number four. Nanti. And this one number three, yeah. Uh, the number three create quiz. So I click here at the setting end. Yeah. Uh, so here at the setting, then I save and return. Okay. Uh, all right. So I will show you how it will appear. Okay, now about uh, in our e now, it's not only test one now. So the information is there. The student will see this. Oh, now students say, okay, attempts allow one. Okay, quiz available from two to four now. Uh, time limit is one hour. Uh, this is the information. You only get this information after you have you have create the quiz. Okay, after you have create the quiz study. Okay, all right, the information here. Okay, but if you notice, if you put down, hey, no question have been added yet. Uh, that's why I, I told you just now. Under step number three, ni, nothing to do with question, adding question. It's just to set up the, the, the quiz. How many attempts, uh, the duration, 60 minutes, right? And one hour, uh, the availability between two to five, uh, uh, all those are setting just now. So it's just setting the, 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 the test. It's nothing about the question. So what about when to add the question? To uh, add the question, we go into number four. Yeah? Add question from the question bank. Okay, all right. So how to do that? There are many ways. The easiest way, if you click the quiz, and you see, this is written there, no question, right? So you just click edit quiz. Okay, now you go to edit quiz. Okay, edit quiz here, okay, it will bring you to this yeah, window. Okay, if you see here, what are the information here? Okay, make sure the, the name is correct. Uh, quiz open here, see? Quiz is now closed. Uh, these are the information, yeah? This, this, how, how do you set this? In step number three just now, right? Create the quiz. It open at today, at 2 p.m. Okay, that's the simple information. But there is no question here. Okay, how to do that? Okay, now we are going into number four. Yeah? Okay, question number four here. Uh, this is actually the easiest part, actually. Okay, okay so we're adding question now. So how to do that? Here, you click add. You click from question bank. Okay, click question bank. Okay, when you click question bank, uh, this is where you start to connect with your your this one tadi, the diagram here just now. Okay, remember, yeah, I've, I mentioned to you tadi about the chachak ni. Okay, the chachak ni, 
the first two is about here question bank so all the question is still here after that you create the quiz right you set up the quiz still quiz only without the question and now number four you are adding the coins to the start so you are adding the question now so where is the coins coming from where are the coins coming from from the question bank that's what we are doing now okay all right so okay, yeah so now okay i repeat this step eh? so you go to test study at question you click add question bank okay right yeah? remember eh? uh, I'm, I'm setting test so go back to categories these are the yeah uh, categories okay elon yeah uh, okay Okay, but when you click the Elon Mala, it will list all the questions we have created just now, regardless whether it's the final exam or the test. So we don't want that. So I want to have tests. So I want to have only these five questions only. I want to bring only five questions from this category. So I just click this one. Yeah, uh, these are the five questions we have created just now. Okay, all right. So I just check, select all. I want all five. Okay, into my my test yeah so after i've checked all five so add selected question okay. that's why i remember just now when you created question uh add question in step number two tadi always after you have create a new question you add to the question bank always preview the question because at this level you don't want any error any more mistake on the question because by now you should trust whatever question in your question bank they are all properly set up you don't want Alama, uh, when you check the question nanti, ala, ada some errors. Eh? Uh, you don't want that. Okay? That one should be done in step number two tadi. The CA tadi, eh? the, sec the first A tu, yeah? Okay, now you can see, okay, you have the quiz now. Yeah? The test now have question now. Five questions from the question bank. Uh, what should you do here? Uh, there are a few things that you have to do. Yeah? Number one, make sure you check the marks is properly correct. Okay, this one, two mark, one mark, one mark, one mark. Okay, 0 0.5. Okay, but you know, definitely you cannot remember, right? But don't worry, you can preview each question back. Okay, you click here, each question, yeah, it will appear as a pop-up like this. As a pop-up like this. Okay, all right, this is the question. For which question is? M5, yeah, question, this one, yeah? Okay, so you double check. All right, okay, this one, that should be no problem. Okay, this two marks, make sure it's two marks, correct? Is it two marks? Yeah, it's two marks then. Okay, you, you can do that, yeah? Uh, I, I will do this yeah because i don't want any because one student yeah one student uh apa, one student have attempted the quiz you cannot change anymore nanti, yeah, the question uh the the the, the apa, adding or delete question but you can change individually you can edit the question yeah after even the student have attempted the quiz nanti, yeah or the test yeah tapi i will always make sure i double check lah before uh apa, students start to attempt yeah? okay uh, these are the okay after okay and then you do the dress lah, yeah okay so that's number one. Make sure the mark is correct. Then what else? Uh, here, if you notice here, total mark, there is maximum grade. There is total marks here. Total marks here is 5.5. .5. So meaning that 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 5. That's the summary, uh, the summation. Uh, the sum of this is 5.5. .5. Yeah, that's how you check because when you add from different category, can uh, question, yeah? So you make sure, oh, okay, you know, uh, from this category just now, okay, this one, yeah, when we add question, so you know, uh, from this category just now, again, okay, all these five questions, this question should worth 5.5 .5 marks. So how you double check that one? Also, you can double check from this total marks. So you have added, you have added 5.5. .5. Oh, okay. That's another uh, upper ways to confirm that you have added the correct way, yeah? Okay, then what about this one, maximum grade? Okay, what maximum grade means that if let's say okay this is my question yeah five question for the test okay let's say i okay uh, I'm, I'm happy with this yeah so okay tapa, i'm happy with this i want to show you how the qu the quiz will look like yeah so what you have to do is okay uh, you go back to the test okay now you preview okay right yeah okay uh, not available okay back to course okay tapa go back to your e-learner because as a uh, okay uh, okay tak apa. eh stop 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 
Okay, tak apa. Okay, from here, you, you can preview from this cog wheel. Okay, now you go to preview here. Okay, from this cog wheel ni, yeah, in the test yeah, you go to preview. Okay, this will, okay, password, because again, you know tadi banana. Uh, but you don't, nanti you remove the password lah ya, banana. Okay, start attempt. Okay, uh, so this is the question, you see. Okay, remember, uh, I set up two question per one page, right? And I shuffle. Uh, that's why uh, this is my, should be my number five question, right? But it appear as first. And the marks is two. Okay, if you notice, uh, this is how the student will look like, eh? They, they will look, uh, they will, how the quiz will appear. They have 50, uh, one hour. Uh, the second is ticking now. Okay, uh, there are five questions here. Uh, so they can see, okay, this one, okay. So I just answer lah. I can, I can answer, yeah? Answer. And then I can answer this one also. Uh, then I can click next page. Okay, uh, the question three, question four now. Have a feeling, yeah? What, have a feeling. Try that one, yeah? Okay, okay, then true, false. Okay, then you finish your time. Uh, this is how the student will see. After they finish your time again, they will see this. Oh, okay, so I'm okay with that. So I submit all and finish. Okay, submit all. Okay, all right. So I've done the, the preview. So what does the system tell me? Okay, your state finished already. So you take about 57 seconds. So my name, the, the, the quiz uh, uh, has been, uh, the test has been properly set up. So it's a workable uh, quiz now. Okay, all right. So after I've done, finish the review. Okay, uh, so that's, we have finished uh, add question me. So, okay. So we have finished the first step, add question from the question bank. So now we go into the last part. Okay. All right. So, uh, again, uh, under add question me, uh, like I mentioned to you, this is the easiest part actually. Why is this part? You just drag drop. Yeah. Uh, you just uh, add question from the question bank and then make sure, yeah, make sure, make sure. Uh, okay. Okay. Do you notice that? Do you notice why I put this menu? For question, for step number four, you cannot use edit setting here. Edit setting for number three. Edit quiz, you use, if you want to add question, you want to edit yeah, question, you use edit quiz. Uh, this one for step number four. This one, edit setting for step number three. Uh, that's why uh, I believe using the chachak approach uh, is easy to prevent confusion. You know straight away, okay, number three, you only create the quiz without question, nothing to do with it. So you know, you choose edit setting. But under four, ni, add question, you edit quiz. Uh, this edit quiz is where you deal with the, all the questions, okay? And also under number four, ni, okay, once question added, okay, like I mentioned, it's good to preview the whole quiz. You may want to check for any errors that we have done just now and ensure the total mark is correct and also the grading being assigned 100%. Okay, for what it means there here, ensure the total mark is correct. Okay, now I want to go back to my, my, my upper quiz again, step number four. So how can I go, uh, how can I do that? Okay, here, go to Cock Wheel, choose Edit Quiz. Okay, from here, Cock Wheel, nampak? Test 1. Not Edit Setting, Edit Quiz. Okay, uh, this is where I go back to the list of the question in the test. Eh? Okay, so what I mean here is this. What I mean by this, eh? ensure the total mark is correct, 100% ke, 10% ke, up to you. What I mean by this sentence is this. Okay, here make sure if the total mark for interview is 5.5, .5, make sure it's 5.5 .5 here. Okay. And here, if you want to give the grade by out of 10 marks, you put 10 marks. But usually, I will put here 100%. I put 100. So meaning that although the marks is only 5.5, but when the students submit, they will get 100% percentage. Okay? Then remember, when you change here, remember always pre safe. Okay? pre safe. Eh? Okay. That's, we finish number four. And finally, the grading. Okay. The grading, the grade the quiz, ni, quickly, uh, is where students start to attempt. Uh, that's that for me. That is the grading. Yeah, okay. when students start to attempt. Yeah, okay. okay. When students start to attempt. Yeah, okay. uh, they will go into the nila. Uh, so far, there's no attempt. Number, right? there's no attempt. Yeah. Okay. I give you uh, a, a, a true nila, a real. Uh, uh, because there's no student here, so I cannot create dummy question. But I give you uh, a real uh, upper, um, results. Yeah, a real uh, grading. And also, I show you, okay, what was important under grading ni, eh? Okay, this will be the last slide, eh? Under grading ni, the last stage ni, the chachak ni, uh, number one, you conduct the quiz. Uh, that's the real, okay. Here, up to four here, CA, CA ni, you haven't yet conducted the quiz. But when you go under grade the quiz ni, this is where the real 
uh, conduct or the quiz start when the students start to attempt. Okay, then, uh, okay, uh, under that, you can restrict the access the attempts, like I mentioned just now, under the setting here, yeah, under step number, uh, number what tadi? Number, number three, yeah, see here, and you create the quiz. And they create the quiz tadi, you set how many attempts? Only one. And you put the password, yeah, okay, that's why, restrict access, you can change this under step number three. C, A, C, A, C, the second C tadi, yeah. Okay, so during the grading, you can monitor the student activity. Okay, this one there, eh, Dr. Sharon or uh, Dr. Uh, Abniza tadi, eh? asli Abniza tanya tadi, I'm not sure, tapi I will show you. This is where you can monitor the student's activity and also you challenge when student, uh, okay, tak apa, ni, leave the challenge first. Uh, and also you regrade and download the grades. Eh? Okay, we, we look into uh, one, two, uh, three and four, yeah? quickly. Yeah? Okay, so uh, I'm using the real uh, results here. Yeah? Uh, Yeah, I'm opening a new uh, <coughs> I'll show you a, a, a grading yeah? mm, quiz yeah? online quiz done by student so that you get the some of it because some of the feature you some of the feature I use this one. Okay, this is a test, eh? a real test. Okay, real test. Okay, uh, this is the information we give to the student. Okay, uh, this is a test. So it's a 90 minutes test. Uh, the duration is two hours. You see the information here? Additional 30 minutes will be given. Uh, so if student have any problem, uh, total 80 marks. Yeah. Okay, the true type question, answer all question. Okay, right? Uh, so this information, these are attempts. Okay, this is the real one. Eh? So if Student, okay, now where are we? We are at the conduct of the quiz. Eh? Students start to attempt. When you click eh, this quiz, request, you will see attempts here. Okay, There's, it means that there are 119 student attempts because this, how many attempts allow? One. So when I click attempts here, so you get into the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, all right, okay. Because this is a real result, yeah, because this recording, okay, tapa. Okay, uh, this is my, my uh, okay, what we will see, well, when you click this, yeah, you will see uh, the report, yeah. Uh, these are the grade, these are the, the grading, okay. Uh, what important here is, yeah, you, there are two options here, yeah, to here, what to include in the report, okay. And attempts that are in progress, show only attempts, okay. And then the display option, how many you want, the page size. Okay, here let's say I have 190 students. So I want to see all them in all. So I put 125 students. Okay, then marks for each question. Okay, meaning that if mark for each question, meaning that uh, student will have uh, marks. Eh? All the question will be like that. Eh? Okay, uh, so these are the marks for the individual question will be appearing here. Okay, if you choose this mark for each question. But if you choose no, then you then you, after you change any of this, you must click show report. Okay, show reports. And yeah, then then you will see no more marks. Yeah, no more marks. Or you see no more marks. Okay, no more marks. Okay, for the individual question, only the total mark out of hundred percent. Why hundred percent here? Because remember in step number four just now, I put the uh, instead of ten, I changed to hundred percent, right? So now it's over hundred percent. Okay. So why there is no answer for individual question? Because I've chosen no here, okay? But if I want to see individual marks, okay, the, the performance of each question, so I choose yes, show reports, okay? Then I will start to see marks for individual question as well, okay? Right here, see? Uh, question one. And then if you want to see all this, yeah, uh, the average of this, if you scroll down, Okay, uh, then it will give you the average of this question. And uh, this is the average for question number one. Okay. Okay, uh, this is the average for question number one. Performance, yeah. uh, this is the average and so on. Okay, so this, there are so many information there. Yeah? Okay, so up to you, yeah. Okay, so I've done with the display option. Okay, the last part here. Okay, this is, okay, let's say yeah, during the quiz, yeah, there are situations where, 
Okay, now, okay, for example, now we have our final exam, right? Yeah. How do we make sure uh, all our students are already, okay, let's say our exam today at 2 o'clock, our test at 2 o'clock today. So how can we ensure all students have come in and sit for the exam? Uh, this is where you should uh, use the, uh, yeah. Okay, this is where you have to use this feature. Okay, make sure. Okay, by default, the system will choose enroll student now. Enroll user who have attempted the quiz. No, you don't want that. You have to choose this. Enroll users who have or have not attempted the quiz. Because you, you are not worrying about who have attempted, right? You are worrying about who have not. Yeah, who have not. So you want to get the whole class. So you choose this. Okay, choose this. Yeah? Make sure all this check. Okay, then you show report. Okay, right. What I'm doing now, imagine yeah? Now it's already 2.15 2 today. And the test should be happening now. And the student should attend between 2 to 4 o'clock. So now already 2.15. 2 I want to make sure uh, how many students have started, how many yet to attend. Yeah, I will, I, I, we need to monitor that because during face-to-face, -face, you can see that students will come in together, right? Okay, now class uh, test will start at 2 o'clock. So everyone will come in. So you know who is, who is late, who is not. But in the system, on the system, you cannot tell, right? So how do you tell? You tell from this, from the status here. Okay, okay. So now you can see uh, when I've chosen, when I've chosen who have or have not attempted. So everybody, including the lecturers, okay, the lecturers will appear. Okay, do you notice that? Okay, all the names here. Okay, we have the email address, everything, mobile phone. Okay, where is the important point here? So here, the status. You want to look at the status column. In the status column here, okay, those without the need, meaning that they have not attempted. Okay, sorry lah, because this one already completed the test. Eh? So in this case, you see, okay, this student finished already. This student finished already. So meaning that uh, for students with state finish, they have submitted. But students who are attempting, they will appear as in progress. Uh, it's written here in progress. So let's say if I have this student, Shubashini, in progress, meaning that I know, oh, okay, I know the student have started attempting uh, so i'm not worried because she's already coming into the test but for okay dr vicky here let's say imagine dr vicky is a student or oh, still no status here meaning that he is yet to come so i will wait until uh, three o'clock because the quiz the test is one hour right so then after that i will start calling the student because you can have their any their phone number here and some more uh, in our team we have a whatsapp group eh? Uh, for the class so i will double check this number with the number the number of the student in the whatsapp then i will call them straight okay shubashini uh I, do you know that we have test today oh yes yeah, i'm late I have, okay no, but they at least i know the student aware the test is now and they have to do now okay uh, so i i try to prevent i'll try to correct the situation at that particular moment okay how do i know by looking at the state of the grading within the in the grading yeah, system yeah Okay, uh, so here I know students have not okay, here finished already. So I will always check uh, during the from two to four. I always check this state. Okay, and eventually uh, all the students have finished. So I'm I'm happy. Ah, uh, okay, now I'm okay. All the students have finished attempting. Uh, that's how I check the attendance. Eh? For, so my suggestion for the final exam because we are having final exam also. When in the exam online also we have this feature also. Yeah, you have the attempt also. So you click on the attempt. Then you will go into this table. Then you can check the state, whether everybody are taking or not. That, that is a kind of attendance. Eh? Uh, if you see one student is not yet eh, attempt, still not coming in like this, then you, you can do some step study. You double check. You can call the friend or maybe the friend is taking the exam. Cannot. So you try to uh, call the person. Eh? Uh, I've done that uh, one time or two times because usually the students are good, except during the test, yeah? uh, real test, they have problem. So some of them forgot. Oh, so do exam test today? Oh, so thank you, thank you. Ah, so you you save the nila yeah, the prob, uh, from a greater problem. Yeah? Okay, that's how you check the status of the student. Yeah? Okay, that's that's for me. Yeah? You can monitor the student activity. Okay, let's say during the exam, yeah, you do find student complain. Ah, doctor, doctor, I uh, I have internet. I I I've been logged out from the system. What what can I do, doctor? Ah, then my first job, uh, advice to you. It's okay. Ask the student, okay, please log in again and then go back into the quiz. Uh, continue attempting the question. 
usually if i'm not mistaken the duration the system uh, this one had, we have to double check with maybe dengan cde uh, if you have a one hour test student log out uh, usually the answer submitted previously will be saved by the system so don't worry the answer will not be missing if the student re -log in back then they will see the attempted uh, answers is still there and that's that's uh, i can confirm but the duration uh, whether they miss any let's say the student wasted uh, five minutes whether that five minutes being counted by the system or not uh, that one i'm not sure okay uh, so so far um, i i hope the, the the time is not affected uh, but you can double check uh, yeah? you can double check on that uh, based on the nilai yeah? uh, the, the, the the timing also yeah because you can you can uh, you can from the 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 table here you can also look at the ni yeah, the the starting the starting point ni the starting uh, ni when actually the students start yeah they start on what they completed on what okay uh, 3 30 uh, this student uh, in this case Shubashini started at 3 30 and finished five money the duration because remember the test is 90 minutes Okay, 90 minutes, yeah? Yes, yes, Dr. Aniza, yes. The system can track the total time, yeah. The total, for example, like, yeah, for example, in this uh, real quiz, ni, the time is 90 minutes, right? So it's a 90 minutes, yeah, 90 minutes test, you see? Uh, I can tell the student, okay, in this case, the time taken for uh, Katala Alpha, ni, uh, he took about one hour, uh, sorry, she took about one hour, 30 minutes, yeah? Uh, yeah? And then she started immediately at 3.30 too because uh, we set the uh, quiz, the test from 3.30 to 5.30. But this student, yeah, Alpha, she started immediately at 3.30. Okay, once the, the, the availability started, she started and then she took about 1 hour and 20, 30 minutes. Okay, that's how you track yeah, during the, the real-time uh, assessment. Eh? That's how you track. Okay, uh, then you, if you scroll down, you can see some student. Yeah, uh, they, actually, you can sort point according. Let's say you want to know okay, the time taken, who is the shortest. So you click on this, then it will sort according to the uh, sorting. Yeah, right? Yeah, so this is the longest. Uh, some students take about 1 hour 31 minutes. Why 31 minutes? Remember, I give them 60 minutes, eh? 1 minute, uh, 60 second, 61 seconds. Eh? So they took the 1 minute extra to, to just feel good about their submission. Okay, uh, oh, this one. Okay, then if I click again, I will sort uh, from the shortest to the longest. Okay, that's meaning that you can use the system. Okay, uh, this one. Uh, the Shafinas, she took about only 1 hour 6 minutes there. Yeah? Yeah, six hour. Okay. Oh no, no, sorry. Uh, Shavinas ni a special case. Uh, this is this is this is this is this part. Student submitted, but yet the system did not did not accepting it. Yeah, did not accept it. Eh? Okay. So in this case, okay, tapo just you know Shavinas dulu. Okay. But if you notice, yeah, uh, Alif he only completed he only did the test within one hour 14, 40 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, one hour forty minutes. Yeah, right. Uh, okay. Then, but then. I, I, I want to double check. Hey, why? Yeah? Why he, he's not taking the full 90 minutes? Oh, okay. He start at 3.30. Okay, tak apa. Student Alif ni, although he started on time, 3.30, but okay, he's so confident. So he submitted, finished everything within one hour, 40 minutes. Okay, I'm fine with that. As long as I have, I see finish and I see a mark here. Uh, then, okay, no problem. Okay? Okay, but in the case of Shafinas ni, actually, Shafinas ni, if you notice, eh, she she started at 6.15, finished at 7.35, right? And if you notice, the availability of this test is between 3.30 to 5.30 now. So how come uh, Shafina still able to attempt the test after 5.30? This one 6.15, eh? Uh, because in this situation, Shafina, uh, although she have done uh, first time, when she clicks submit, the system, in the system nanti, because this one I already corrected, eh? But the system will appear as here not submitted. Ah, uh, that is the problem, eh? Maknanya, her first attempt, she sub she submitted the first attempt, eh? But the system did not accept it as submitted. So the, the system we write here not finished, but not submitted. Uh, so in that case, in that case, you have what? Okay, I do not know the other way, lah. But what I've done is uh, I have experienced this about uh, ten to yeah, like about ten times, eh? ten, 10 cases with the student. Uh, student said unsubmitted. So what I have to do? I cannot allow the student for a second attempt, right? Because they already know the question, right? So what you can do is uh, uh, I will I will 
I, I asked them to share with me their user the email and their password, temporary password when they change their uh, yeah, this one is about trust lah, yeah, about the security. I cannot think of other best way, yeah, but other better way. Tapi uh, this is what I've done lah. So it's about you and the student. The trust is there lah, because the student will submit the email and together with their password, maybe I ask them to change to a temporary password. Then I will log in into their e-learn, okay. Uh, then I will attempt for them. I will I will attempt meaning that I will. Uh, Put whatever answers they already submitted and saved by the system, but not processed by the system, uh, into the second attempt. But the second attempt is not done by the student; it's done by me. So now I'm becoming Shafinas. So how to do that? Because if I click review, ni under review, I'm about to finish. Yeah, about five minutes dah. Yeah, ni. Uh, ni. Okay. I can see this the question eh, by the student, and I can see the individual, the 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 review eh. Uh, by the student. So if I click this question, okay, if I click this question, okay, it's already, okay, there, here, there's, eh? uh, there's the question, eh? then, uh, because this one already marked, eh? but imagine, eh? because during that, not submitted, so there will be no true question, go false question, eh? so uh, I, I will, then I will open, eh? okay, I open uh, one account of the student, what's your name? All right, uh, I have to open two e-learn system, one under my name and another one under the student name. So I will open student using Chrome, uh, Mozilla, uh, my, my e-learn using Mozilla. So I have two browser open. Okay, you get my point, eh? I open both because why? Because only as le lecturer, we can review this. Student cannot review their attempt. Only lecturer can uh, the ID, review eh? this. The yes, the ID. yes. Saya tak faham. Uh, maksud uh, uh, yang tak submit tu ialah apa? Ah Student dia macam ni. Sistem, bila student klik submit, sistem hmm. tak proses. Maknanya sistem kata not submitted. But but when we as the lecturer, when we go into the review function kan, we can see. Okay, kejap. Uh, kejap ya. I, 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 Ma, I, tapi soalan uh, jawapan dia dah ada. Ah uh, Jawapan safe. Jawapan is safe by the system. Uh, luckily, uh, mana, jawapan memang safe by the system. Okay, kalau macam tu, pelajar uh -huh. cuma perlu klik pada quiz tu sahaja yes. dan nanti status tu akan terus tukar kepada finish. Uh, tapi itulah, tapi uh, because they cannot access anymore. Oh, tapi dia, memang memang tak, dia, tak boleh, dia memang tak boleh access. Dia cuma perlu klik kepada quiz tu sahaja. Tajuk quiz tu sahaja. Nanti okay. status tu akan berubah. To finish. Oh memang ha. macam tu cara dia? Ya, ya, ya. Selalunya kita okay. akan minta macam tu lah. Sebab kalau dia tu dia uh, macam draft ke apa uh, walaupun uh, student dah finish uh, jawab tapi yes. status tu tak tukar kepada finish. Selalunya yeah. memang kita tak akan minta ID student lah. Kita akan minta student yang buat sendiri untuk dia klik, uh, dia login masuk khusus tu dan klik pada quiz tersebut. Dan nanti automatically nanti uh, sistem akan capture dia as finish. Okay, okay, alright, okay. Yeah, sebab, okay. sebab jawapan semua ada kan? Uh, itulah jawapan ada, tetapi ah, uh, okay, tapi I've never tried that one. Okay, tapi cuma good. dekat status tu sahaja kan, yang tak berubah. Jadi bila dia cuma perlu login semula dan klik dekat quiz tu saja untuk tukarkan uh, status tu. Sebab sepatutnya ID tu tak didedahkan lah kan? Ah, memang kalau final exam memang macam tu. Final exam ah. we don't need, tapi kalau test sebab uh, test memang kita buat uh, dalam kelas memang kita tahu pun. Ah betul betul. Dan, dan, ah, tapi betul, se betul. Selalunya kalau kalau status tu tak berubah memang uh, lecturer atau student dia akan contact admin uh, ataupun uh, student tu buat sendiri lah macam tu lah. Uh, ah, sebab okay, confidential okay. kan benda tu jadi yes, macam yes. Uh, kita tak boleh minta ID tu lah. So, saya just nak bagi tahu dekat. Uh, betul. Participant yang ada yang ini bukan satu benda yang common lah. Bukan benda betul, yang betul. Uh. Yes, you are right. Okay. Betul. Memang saya nak saya nak cakap benda tu pun. Terima kasih kepada anda. Betul, betul. betul. This very true. Uh, sebab apa tau? Sebab uh, that's why in final exam, uh, the apa confidentiality tu is very, very apa orang kata kita kena jaga ya. We have to be careful of that ya. Uh, because that's why we do not know the student, right? And then because the student remain anonymous, that's why we only know the ID only, yeah? Okay, tapi this one, let's say, kalau this one happen for the quiz, yeah? For the test, the one that we conducted during the semester, not using our e-learn, 
Uh, because we still know, uh, because they submit pun, we, we know based on their name, kan? Yeah? Okay. All right. Thank you, Puan Rosanna. Okay. Tapi, okay, that's that's good, yeah? Uh, we can try that uh, tip study. Okay. So, uh, so uh, then then I retract back lah my ni tadi, yeah? Uh, the way we can review tadi tu using the ni. Uh, we try what the the, the, the tips, yeah? Uh, mentioned by Puan Rosanna just now, yeah? So, again, we ask the student to log in and then uh, click submit. Uh, then we see how it goes, yeah? All right. Okay, so thank you, Rosanna. I, I will try also that uh, myself. Then I will see how how is the ni lah, whether it works or not. Yeah. So far, because I thought, but because the reason why I've done the one I mentioned earlier, because uh, usually in the setting, yeah. Okay, here if you go back to the setting, yeah, here setting of the quiz. Okay, uh, because uh, it's all about number one. It's about this. If you check this one, then the student cannot access the quiz anymore. So if like Puan Rosanna was saying just now, so in that case, if you want to allow the student to access, then they have to, you have to enable the timing here. Yeah? So that now the, there is no uh, deadline for the, in terms of the assessing the, the, the quiz. And, and also uh, make sure this one still attempt is one. And I can, you try that one. Yeah? I, I will try this one myself. So I, I've never tried uh, the tips yet, yeah? given for Puan Rosanna, so I cannot, confirm whether whether it will work for me or not yeah tapi it's okay good note good knowledge thank you Puan Rosanna yeah? we will try that and then hopefully maybe let's say if I given another chance to conduct training then I can uh, give my experience on that lah yeah okay all right so I think uh, towards the end lah already okay so uh, kalau student punya progress uh, student boleh masuk sini untuk tanya if you attend cuma sekali uh, okay that's that's what yeah that, uh, Dr. Wan of Visa yeah uh, student punya static in progress, student mana mana, okay. Jenny, no, the issue is like this. Uh, issue dia, uh, kalau student in progress, student boleh masuk sikit? No. Uh, okay, what I understand from your question is, kalau student in progress, and let's say they have problem with the internet, right? They log out. Then then they log in again, still, the status still in progress. So meaning that they can they can continue attempting the the, the final exam, ataupun the, the quiz, yeah, the test. Uh, then after they finish, then they submitted as usual lah. Yeah, uh, so that's that's what I understood eh, from your question, eh, Dr. Wan Afiza. Yeah? Okay, betul lah. Itu memang responded by CDE pun. Yeah, boleh, man. Student boleh cuma boleh tanya. Semua tak boleh jawab semula. Okay, alright. Uh, I think that's a good information. I, I also knew about this today. So I will try that with my student as well. Yeah? So until later, we can share yeah, your ex experience on that. Okay, alright. So long already. Okay, so I'll be start. So I think that's it. Oh, re oh, regarding. Okay, last just few tips only. Okay, the regarding and download. Okay, so uh, normally once you have the result, right? What to do? Eh? Okay, just now I mentioned. I've I've talked about how to monitor uh, the the attendance, the progress of the student during the real time of the quiz. Yeah. Okay, let's say everything now. I'm happy. Oh, okay, everybody finished now. Yeah. Uh, then I want to have the results, right? Okay, the result usually you can download here. Okay, this one. Okay, yeah, you see, download here, download table. Okay, but before that, you have to make sure you want to download what? Do you want to download just the the the, the total mark, or you want the individual question also? Uh, so make sure, kalau you want the marks for each question, make sure this one also yes, because the system will only download whatever appear in the table down here. Okay, if there is no marks for individual question, then the system will not download into the Excel all the marks for the individual question. Okay, so if you want. Uh, the student to apa, to to uh, to have the ni the uh, all the marks for the question. Then you have to make sure it's yes there. Okay. And then after that, you choose here Microsoft Excel. Okay. Download. You click download. Then it will download as uh, as uh, just a ni as an Excel file. And then from there, usually I will do this. Yeah? I will not be using the grading system in the e-learn, yeah? the grade book and so on. I will use this. Yeah? I prefer to use this. Yeah? Uh, I download as Excel, then I do the analysis inside here. And then uh, then after that, if I'm happy, I will process the information. Then I will share the marks as a PDF of the uh, apa, the marks. Okay? I, will, I will upload the marks as a PDF, uh, in, in, as a PDF file eh, into the e-learn. Okay? All right, so I think that's it. Okay, and then one more last question, uh, one more important things. Okay, let's say, let's say, uh, sometimes you notice, can when you have, student have finished everything now, then when you review the attempt, right? Okay, for example, uh, if I review this, 
uh, attempt eh, by by this student. And I notice eh, uh, I made a mistake. Okay, I made a mistake uh, for question number two. Yeah, let's see. Eh. Okay, this question. Eh. Yeah. One question. Eh. Okay. All right. Uh, let's say let's say I made mistake yeah, for this uh, for this question. But the thing is, this question yeah, has been attempted, right? So can you can you correct that? Yes, you can correct. Okay, yeah, you edit the question you, from here. This one after I'm finished yeah, after finish uh, quiz. Yeah, you edit question. And here now, remember where is the question? This question is inside the question bank. Remember just now question bank? Yeah. Ah, uh, the step number two, tadi, CA, tadi. Now this one we already cha cha and fifth uh, number five. But then you realize, alamak, there's a mistake. The question, okay. Instead of the answer, maybe uh, the answer is false. Can the answer should be true? So when I change this, I can change the back. Then I save changes. Eh? Yeah, but I don't want to do that. Eh? Uh, we, we, we need to do the key. So I, I I can edit. So I change. I correct the question. But once I correct the question, what happened to the 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 the, the attempt by the student? De definitely, yeah, the student uh, the, the system have to mark right. The system have to mark uh, regret the the everything right. Uh, so so in this case, in this case, you can ask the system to regret. Okay, okay. So what you have to do is okay, you scroll all the way down. Okay. Uh, there is an option here, regret selected attempts. Okay, but now is disabled, right? So let's say because I've changed the question, one question, and it, it affects everyone in the class. So I want to regret everyone in the class. So what should I do? I click this one. Yeah, this design, I check this one. So this one select all. So now all students selected, right? All the way down here, selected. Uh, now this common become active, enable, right? So now I will regret. Can okay, remember? Eh? I've already corrected the uh, apa, the wrong question tadi, the incorrect question tadi. So I, I already corrected the one with the correct. Apa, I mean, I already corrected the question. Okay, now I want to regret because some student may in the first attempt they got it correct. Now because I already changed the I mean, I already correct the question. Now they they will be losing marks, and those who are getting incorrect in the first place, they are getting marks now. So I'm telling the system, please regret. So I'm I'm click after I've changed the after I've corrected the question now I click regret selected attempts. So if I click this one, if I click this one, then then uh, you will see uh, some some yeah, answer will be corrected. So I think I have that sample here. Yeah, that sample. Yeah. Yeah, okay. then in this quiz we experienced that eh, once, eh? Uh, but I'm not sure whether it's appearing here or not. Okay. Okay. This will be the last point after that we finish. Eh? Question 50. If, if it's still here, eh? I'm not sure. Okay, it's not here anymore. All right. Okay, but what I mean is, after you regret, until you can see, yeah. Let's say again, this student. Let's say this question, yeah. Uh, initially, because this student uh, got it, uh, upper uh, no marks. But after I correct, so the student get new marks, right? You can see the previous mark will be crossed. That the new mark will be written here. The system will show that. Yeah, the the system will be will be, will show that, and also on the total mark also. If there is a change, the system will cross the uh, previous mark, and the new mark will be uh, written uh, next to it. It shows that uh, uh, regrading has occurred. Okay, uh, so that's I think the last part uh, uh, in terms of regrading. So I think uh, I have to better I finish that one. Yeah. So uh, so basically, uh, in summary, uh, I'm so sorry. Number one, we are way over the time. Yeah, but quickly in summary, what we have done today. Uh, I've shown you the five easy steps in creating and conducting the grading together with some of the tips here. Yeah? Okay, uh, but the most important thing is this, eh, the cha-cha concept. Eh? So uh, I hope by now you can uh, upper differentiate, okay, what is creating quiz, yeah, uh, when to add question, add question grading and so on. Yeah? So just remember the cha-cha. Yeah? 
for the first two occurring in the question bank where you create categories then you add question adding question in money you create question then you add question to the categories then after that you create the quiz just the quiz after that you add question to the quiz and then you grade the quiz when you conduct the quiz you download the result you monitor uh, the 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 apa ni the, the the attempts of the quiz lah yeah okay all right uh, that that's the step tadi okay then i i hope by having that it will uh, prevent confusion in here usually yeah usually uh, apa uh, i got uh, a feedback from our participants okay what is the difference between adding setting and adding quiz Okay, so by having cacat ni, so I hope now when you under step number three ini, create quiz, then you are setting the quiz. So you must use edit setting. You cannot use edit quiz because edit quiz ni you use for step number four. This edit quiz is about you dealing with the questions, you dealing with the the the, the marks and so on. Okay, all right. So I think that's all. Eh? Uh, uh, thank you so much. So uh, finish with that. So any last question, ke? Uh, student? Okay, okay, okay. Tada. All right. Okay. So I think that's all uh, from me. Okay. Yeah. Then the word from Doctor Oi. What is the electric current blackout with the answer? Especially the okay. And Doctor Oi, yeah. Uh, okay. And also system hang, yeah. Okay. Uh, by the time, okay. This one I cannot say hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, confirm. But usually, uh, if the student they been accidentally log out then you apa the the attempt will be saved by the system but i don't know how long eh how long the system will save but i think mm, that so far there is no limitation in terms of the time yeah so maybe puan uh, rosana eh, can confirm on this yeah uh, how long eh the uh, puan rosana eh kalau sistem ni hang ke electric block out uh, lah? saya rasa jawapan save every two minutes kot Ah betul. Tetapi how long dia dia tak dia hold? Oh yang tu dia tak sure sangat. Tak sure kan? Ah, <laughs> I I also not sure about that ya. Yeah? Ah uh, okay. Oh saya lupa satu lagi. Ah uh, just one ya. Yeah? Ah uh, about the online activity tadi kan. How sure you are uh, real uh, apa uh, activity? Okay this, this one ya. Yeah? During the exam, so we want to make sure the student uh, kata dia kata doktor I have problem at three thirty. So how do you double check with that? Okay, you double check that using this ya. Yeah? using this feature. Uh, in the content. Using this, yeah, you go into the log activity, yeah? activity log. There are a few ways. Yeah? Okay. Number one, you go to the, because I seldom use this feature. So you go to the activity, log activity. Yeah, sorry, my internet. Activity. Okay, go to activity. Okay, uh, user report. This one. Uh, user report. Yeah, user report. Yeah, this one. Under course administration, ni. Eh? Okay, this is imagine the scenario during the exam or during the test. Eh? you want to know whether the student really uh, they although they in the grading just now have uh, is mentioned in progress, right? But you want to know more detail, so you can go to uh, live log. Eh? Live log. Tapi tera, now because the, nobody is attempting the ni, eh? attempting the uh, the apa? quiz, eh? so I can I don't see. Huh? Okay, so here. Okay. okay, this is the live log. Eh? Uh, live log. Uh, okay, now uh, actually, oh, that's good. My student, one more student. Eh? Okay, what happened? Okay, live log, it tells what actually happening eh? uh, today. Okay, I have my student. Okay, this uh, event, what actually he he's done? He view the course. And then he log into the system. Eh? Okay, but then, uh, okay, kalau kita tengok. Okay, if I want to see, okay, yeah, I'll call it today. Uh, okay, katalah tadi the test. Yeah, I go for the test here. Yeah. Okay, oh, okay, silap bukan. Okay, 
Okay, uh, usually I use the live log, but okay, this one, the filter. Okay, now, okay, you, you use the live log, but because the live log is the real time, but at the moment there's no student. But what, what I can tell you, okay, let's say, like, let's say uh, that student, okay, now my name is appearing because I'm also, okay. Let's say I go into uh, Fahmi, yeah? So I want to know what actually Fahmi has done, yeah? Okay, so when I click Fahmi, so I can go to here, yeah, to this log. This is how, this is how I check. Let's say, Fahmi said, later I have problem with my uh, internet. So I go into his today's log. Yeah, I want to know whether is he really, has he been into the, when, when actually he's been into the test, uh, when he start to see having the problem. So you can tell yeah, from the live log. Eh? Yeah, I think it's a bit slow. Okay, all right. So this what I can tell from the system, eh? what Fahmi has done today. Okay, today, eh? you see? Okay, starting from here, 1221. Okay, so the, the letters will appear at the top here. Okay, let's see, kalau Fahmi say, eh, I attempted I the, uh, I have attempted the quiz eh, uh, at certain time. So I will double check. Okay, what time? Okay, from here I can tell Fahmi what he's, has he done. Okay, he go into, into the course at 10.36, and then he view, apa tak, course view ni mana, he enter the course, then he viewed, he watch, uh, he ni, um, record, he go into this recorded lecture, yeah, and then he, he ni lah, he uh, read, ataupun he listen to the uh, recorded lecture here, yeah, 10.36, and after that, he finish 10.47, uh, he, he go finish, and then he go back, uh, oh no, then it, it keep changing, and, and out, then, it go back to the sensory system, the, the page of this. That's, that's how I tell it. Eh? See, the item is there. The event contact is there. So if the student is attempting the quiz, then you can see the, the event is mentioned there, uh, what actually viewed here. So this one, course module viewed, what is it? It's the recorded lecture. So here you will see, uh, kalau you are, you are measuring the uh, online test too. So it's written here, the uh, online quiz. So you can track the time here. Then after that, kalau let's say the student log out, then you will see this this again, this information. Okay, then he has to go in back. Yeah, uh, then he will come back with the uh, online quiz. Uh, okay, can you imagine that the process? Because now you you are saying lots of course view, course view because the student uh, is uh, open uh, open here and there, but during the test they can only open the test or on the exam online only, right? So by right, all the activity here, all here will be. Uh, upper, uh, quiz, 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 quiz. So if you start to see no more quiz, you see uh, course viewed here, meaning that the student has been kicked out from the ataupun stop from viewing uh, the quiz, though they have gone back to the uh, dashboard, to the original. Then uh, that tell you, oh, okay. Then you take note of the time, lah. then you match with the uh, WhatsApp receipt. Doctor, I, let's say the student WhatsApp at 11.35, doctor, my internet hang, so I will quickly go into this check, Okay, I verify that. Okay, then I, I wait until I get the second message. Okay, doctor, now I'm okay. Okay, I will go into the system. I will check after the 11.35 me when she start to assess back the quiz. Let's say she or he assess back at 12.15, at 12.18, maknanya the student have kind of uh, start for how many? 25 minutes plus 18, uh, 43 minutes. Uh, so in this case, if the student said, Doctor, can I have extra time? Can I sign in uh, uh, at, uh, instead of two hours, can I sign in at 2.45? Because just now I got uh, stuck with my system. So uh, if we, you don't have the activity uh, info here, you cannot verify, right? And then, but because of the activity here, then you can kind of have uh, verification. Oh, okay, but the student have some issues just now. Although you are, ha are not 100% sure, because in my exam, nanti we are not using e-proctoring, eh? because we don't want to use e-proctoring. We don't want to use the, vid the video, though, because it will uh, drag the internet. Eh? So we based on the student. But based on the activity log, we know or oh, the student have internet problem uh, because uh, the last access is 11.35, then he or she entered back at 12.18. Okay, so justify. Lah. She require uh, 40 minutes or 45 minutes to mark up for the nila tadi. Uh, that's how we, we, we make decision whether to allow the student to use the additional 45 minutes or not. 
Okay, all right. So that will be the last point for me. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, I think I will wrap up on this. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much on this. Uh, thank you, everyone. So whoever are staying, I'm not sure how many are still staying. Uh, and thank you for CDE. So any any more question? Kalau tak ada, I think uh, enough for me today. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, so sorry. Uh, so long. I forgot to overdue time. But I hope it benefit you. Uh, if uh, if you have any issues, it's okay. Just just email me. Yeah, uh, my email is there, and I do not know everything about the system. You can refer to CDA help desk also. Yeah, uh, then we work as a together lah, as a team. Yeah, uh, I will learn also from each one of you from your experience, and also in helping you, I also develop my own experience. Then I can share later with the rest of our colleagues. Inshallah. Okay, uh, thank you so much. Uh, so I return back to uh, Puan Rosanna. But before that, please yeah, do remember to, to sign for your uh, registration today. Yeah? Okay, Puan Rosanna, thank you so much, Puan Rosanna. Thank you, everyone. Terima kasih, Dr. Aidi. Bersama. Assalamualaikum. Okay, right. Bye, yeah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.